Okay, let's hope that this is going to work like this. Whew. Let's hope, y'all. Let's hope. And then we are going to... What am I doing? I need to film the intro of this. Is my light on now? <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. Um, okay. That's kind of in the background right there, but we're going to do what it is. Hi, y'all. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, booze. Hello. Oh, man. I'm going to talk to y'all in a bit, in a minute, but... I am filming the outro to this makeup look. And um, I said, well, I might as well do it while I'm on live. Hi, y'all. Hello, hello. All right. I was rushing out the house. <laughs> I was rushing out the house. And I didn't get to film, like, the final looks. Like, I got to film it, but not the way I wanted to look. Not the way I wanted to film it. And then I needed to talk about this palette. And I couldn't do that because I was rushing. So, Right now, I could do it, so y'all gonna have to sit here and wait, sis, <laughs> until I'm able to, um, you know, hi, boo, hello, hi, guys, I just gotta film my outro really quick, and then we can get to talking, okay, y'all see my DC shirt, ah. okay, let's scoot back some, and then we gotta go into filming mode really, really quick, do you think I should lower my chair some, I should, but you know, oh, my mic, Forgot I had purple eyes today. Yes, honey. I'm going to tell y'all in a minute what this look was inspired by. Thank you, boo. Gotta put the mic on. Kind of got to cover it a little bit. All right. I think that looks good, y'all. Ow, cutie on duty. <laughs> I'm coming. I promise I'm coming. Let me just make sure this is correct. We're going to focus us in. Took a little picture. Hi, honey. I'm going to be with y'all. Like, give me like one minute, two minutes top. All right, where you been at? Oh, my God. Hi. Okay, wait, wait. I can't look there right now. <laughs> All right, let me switch. Shit, you know how you just want your hair to get like that? My curls are falling, so I need that, that bump. And, it, girl, it ain't no bump because my curls done goddamn fail. Oh, well. All right, we just going to have to do what it got to do. Shit. I ain't about to hook up the curling one, y'all. It ain't that deep. I feel you like stop you too. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. I got the art. Right. What is this? Oh, my arm. Okay. So, I don't know if I told you guys the palette that I came out of. I, this is not like an intended tutorial. Like I said, I just was trying to get glammed up. But let me help you out some. This Morphe palette. This is the 35B palette. Y'all know I've had this palette for forever. And it just looks like this. So, if you see, this has like a row of like purples right here. I literally use those. Did I use anything else in this palette? I did not. It literally was this, this three row of purples that I used in this palette to get this look. Now, the white part that you see, I think I told you guys, I used my Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's a regular face powder, but I just used that on top of my white base, and that's how I got that. Now, as far as the deep smoky purple that y'all see that simply came out this missy lynn palette who remembers that like damn and she has like this dark dark purple in there and i just used that to make like that line but everything else straight from this palette y'all know i don't like to do too many palettes too many colors because everybody doesn't have that and you got to compensate for those but i hope that it was easy i hope that you can kind of follow what i'm doing like i said i really wanted to just test my craft because i try to stay away from cut creases and that's because I don't think I'm that great at them, but this one came out good, and it was just like, touch yourself. And and I want to say that to everybody, like, if you're not good at makeup, literally, sis, I've been doing makeup for forever, and I'm still learning. You get me? So just, just push yourself and keep trying and testing and testing. You're going to get it. Like, today, I got this, and it took me years just to get this. You get what I'm saying? So hopefully this get glammed up, glammed up work. I hope you like it. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'm Nene Tanae to all my new subbies. Hey, booze. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, y'all. How was that? Was that good? <laughs> that was it, sis. We ain't doing no more takes of that. We're going to take this memory card out right there. 
that forehead highlight thank you sis thank you now i gotta go to y'all comments because y'all playing games i told y'all y'all gotta hold on for me <laughs> that was good huh okay that was great okay we're gonna put that memory card there as a matter of fact we're gonna get that uploaded um now y'all not gonna see that video to sometimes um i haven't seen that okay wait what does it say y'all not gonna see that video till sometime like next week <laughs> because i have a video I think y'all gonna get a couple makeup tutorials next week. You'll have Where's My Tea Saturday. I think by Monday or Tuesday, y'all should, yeah, should have a makeup tutorial. So y'all should get two next week. All right, let me put this, um, what is this called? Memory card in so we can get this going. And then we ready to talk. Okay. So what's going on? Because Why, girl? Because I got to I gotta get time to edit that, sis. All right, let's go to this comments. Let's see what y'all talking about. <laughs> hey, boo. Okay, wait, where we at? Hey, me, nee, I'm here for it. Hey, girl. Hey, honey. The look is gorgeous. Love your channel. Had purple eyes today. Hey, beautiful. Melanin glowing. Sexy. That highlight. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi, boo. Yes. Missed you. Yes. Look good. Work it. You think you cute. I feel like you stopped YouTube when MIA on people. Well, let me address that. You look so pretty. Hey, y'all. Hey, Nini. Nee, nee. Your face is lit. Thank you, boo. Yes. Look gorgeous. Lord, where have you been that you can go live on YouTube? Hi, honey. Um, I said the same thing. Wait a minute. She looks so gorgeous. Thank you. Multitasking. That forehead highlight. Yes. <laughs> I haven't seen her or heard from her. I thought she was pregnant. How do you think that? Great. Eyelashes on point. Do you know these are Walmart, honey? $6.97. <laughs> Get them glam coins. Wow. Wow. Looking good like always. And you know they did. Yes. Hair. Shout out. Hello, my fucking hair. Hi, honey. I can't wait for the Where's My Tea Reloaded series. Somebody said... Where's my tea reheated or something like that? I was like, oh, oh that was lit. Are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> Shout out to that glow. Hey from ATL. Hey, love. Miss you. Hey, boo. How she going to get pregnant that quick? Thank, thank you. So glad to see you back on YouTube. Miss you. What's new, love? Gorgeous. Hey, love you. Oh, my God. I've been watching since college. Hello. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's going on, girls? What's going on? Oh, my gosh. It's so many things to address. For one... I, I don't want to force you because I know everybody don't like the vlog thing. And the vlog thing is like really big on YouTube. But I do vlog every day. I have a vlogging channel, Two Lit Crew. So if you're looking for me, that's where I am. As far as makeup, I think I explained that. In, did y'all see today's video? Um, <laughs> Did y'all see today's video? I just dropped a chit-chat, get ready. With, ooh, I got to get the thing. A chit-chat, get ready with me or whatever. And I explained that in that video just my inconsistency and what's been going on okay import good those are important so we can get to editing that real fast okay i'm sorry i'm sorry hold on hold on <laughs> where we at hair popping thank you okay and yeah she got a whole girlfriend glad i caught this live missed the last two lit crew lives oh my god hair popping thank you we're not gonna act like ebony don't exist how would she be pregnant okay girl you be busy just watch Pregnancy is between her, Ebony, and God. Yes, you are so pretty. I didn't know you had a vlogging channel. Yes, I was watching that video, then I saw live, so I had to post one. <laughs> I know, that's right. So, pregnancy, no, I don't even know where you got them rooms from, sis. I ain't getting pregnant no time soon. Yes, I have a girlfriend, so, but we aren't, okay, well, I still got this mic on. We aren't getting pregnant no time soon. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. So, um, okay. I'm going to answer this question, and if somebody else asks it, somebody else can put it down in the um, comment section. Got that? Can y'all do that for me? Somebody's asking for my highlight. Y'all know I'm Ruby Kisses all over glow all day. I have kind of abandoned my Ruby Kisses because I found a better glow. Oh, I'm so sad I said that. But it's lit. Okay, so this is Revolution. Y'all seen Revolution makeup? I got this from Ulta. Um, the color I have is Rock My World. I'm sorry rock on world revolution rock on world um so somebody asked me what highlight i got i need somebody to comment revolution rock on world hopefully that works never seen nini not looking sh popping honey you ain't seen me <laughs> i appreciate it let me just tell you behind this miss creative diva and i explained this in the video she posted this photo or this i look probably like girl i don't know a couple weeks ago probably two and i said shit i screenshot it and i was like i am going to do this and i haven't been in makeup like full makeup in a minute so today i was like 
we're gonna film this video and we are going to do that look and i challenged myself because it was a cut crease now that this is not nearly as close to what she produced um because that girl is, is talented as hell but i like it i'm so happy with it like i think it's gorgeous all right <laughs> let me see makeup revolution is lit yes sis i need more wig videos See, y'all playing. Girl, did you do this makeup tutorial? Yes, did you miss the beginning? I just filmed it. I've seen her not should pop them before. You already know, okay? Your smile is bomb, okay? Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Where have I been? Life has just been busy. Like, y'all, huh, have you tried Makeup Revolution Powder? Cause that's the only thing I've tried from them. Like, I've never tried anything from their products but the highlight. I have been eyeing that highlight for, like, months. And I never got it because I was so satisfied with Ruby Kisses. But then finally one day I was like, bitch, get the damn highlight. <laughs> it's only like $8. So I got it and I'm like in love. You're lucky because I can't smile. So what was I about to say? Heard the rest of this stuff is bomb. I heard that too when I was telling, I think in my live yesterday. Um, Yeah, where's my tea about to be lit this summer? I hope it's 3 a.m. in London. Why am I still awake? You look so beautiful. Hi, honey. I'm glad you woke. Yes, girl, I got one here. So I didn't know you said you recorded. Yeah, it's okay, boo. I know you have a hair vendor that you can't give out, but can I buy some bundles through you? Your hair is always, you know you can, sis, for sure. Hit me up on um Facebook Messenger. Um, if me is here, Eb is not too funny. <laughs> You're funny if she date a fan with sub or a fan of fans that was sub, but okay, so let me answer your question because I think you're the second person. I don't know if you're trolling or not. I have a girlfriend. She's a girl. That's all it is. Whether she's fem stud, why does that even matter? She's a girl. Um, hey, what's your favorite foundation? Maybelline, fit me. I do these on all my clients. I have so many of these. Maybelline fit me foundation is like where is that? Um where we at? Hey, from Washington State. Hey, honey, you never told us Manny has a channel. I've been deceived. Manny's been featured on my main channel where his channel has been down there. He just doesn't upload. Um, I finally caught you on live. I've been missing it. But hey, hi, boo. She's playing, girl. Manny has a channel. Yeah, she, he does now. I think it's Taz Manny Yan. Manny, if you're here, please drop your channel. Love you so much. Your inspiration. Hey, thank you. I love Manny. Um, yeah, he has a channel, but Manny does not upload. Um, I think he just said he lost it. Dewey or Matt? This is Matt. I use Matt on everybody. So this is Matt Poreless. Yeah. And I only keep picking up these two because they're right here. Um, where are you from? Your accent is so cute. Thank you. I'm from the D M motherfucking V at uh, PG County to be exact. Okay, suit lint. Okay, we're not gonna do all that. But yes, that's where I'm from. Um, where we at? I just been busy. Ask the question how to keep y'all plan how to keep makeup on when it's hot outside. I don't know. Everybody asks that question since I just got primers and powders. I really don't sweat that much, but it I mean shit. Sometimes my makeup is fucked. But personally, I don't produce a lot of sweat. Um, so I go for matte products. I got a good powder. I use these black radiance powders. Um, they only work good if you got the right primer. Right now, I'm using the Hangover FX, and it's just a sample one. Um, and I'm really liking that. I think a lot of that plays a part with this Mario Bidet School Spray because that shit works really good. Um, I just use a primer. Like, I don't sweat much. So I really, I, I, I don't know. That's a hard question to really answer over the years. Hi, honey. Um, that purple shadow is popping. Hi from Savannah. Makeup on fleek. Thank you, honey. Um, hi from Detroit. I went to Flowers High School. Oh, you did. I had a couple of ROTC and comp competitions there. Well, only probably like one. Hey, um, is it a stud? Okay, listen. We not doing this. Like, I don't know what you're doing, sis. Um, hey, me. Hi, honey. Man, block this chart. I got you, boo. What do you think about the 24-hour stay? I can't use it because they don't have it in my color. That's the thing. Like, Maybelline, one minute you was on track, then you, like, falling off. Like, the color stops. It does not go deep enough for my color. Um, so, I can't even tell you. Um, it's okay. I blocked that person. Hey, Nene, I caught you live. Yes, you did. I love Urban Decay All Night. It helps, too. Now, I had that long time ago, and maybe I just wasn't too makeup savvy. I didn't like it, and I have not repurchased purchased it, but this was like three years ago. So, hey, Nene. Hi. Please block that gun, huh? Y'all in this gay comment. It's gone, sis. It's okay. It, it, it's not that deep. It's okay. 
So, have you tried the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer? No. The only... Is this Maybelline right here? The only thing that I've tried from Maybelline is just Fit Me Line, to be honest. And I use their concealers. Thank you. What can you recommend for sensitive and dry skin? Um, dry skin. Ebony has dry skin. I don't. So, what are we using on her? She has a lot of things I don't bought for her, so I can't even tell you. Sensitive skin. My skin is kind of sensitive, so I just try to stay away from... I always get, like, original stuff. I try to stay away from stuff that has scents in it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I, can't, I, I can't even tell you. Um, your makeup is flawless. What satin powder, powder do you use? Black Radiance. Actually, I want to get the one that I use. So, Black Radiance Pressed Powder. These are only, like, 4 or $5. I use this. They came out with this new color. It's called Black Coffee, and this shit is, like, my color. I've always been wearing, like, either Ebony, Rich Mahogany. When they came out with this, I was like, y'all can go. That's lit. So, that's the powder that I do use. Okay. Y'all playing games. Let's go. Oh. Will you be doing more out of your element looks, like, with more vibrant colors and lippies? Probably not. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have to say this, like, every time. It's just not me. You ever meet them people? I'm just a simple girl. I, I This is okay for me, but it's not something that I would go to. I'm not a person that I want to mix colors and do. I like a simple glam. I really like a nice bronze. That's just me. What I do play with is my lips. Now, I'll fuck around on some lips. My eyes, though, I ain't got to do all that. Um, So, I don't know. I, I, the answer, the honest answer is no, but you never know. Here we go. Um, I have two purple looks on my channel. The looks are so gorgeous. Gorgeous on African American women. Drop your channel. I have oily skin. What's the best primer to use? My favorite one is uh, where is it? It's my girl. This joint is old as hell. Makeup step one equalizer. This is in here because I'm gonna squeeze the last little bit of that. That's a uh, makeup forever. Um, hello everyone. Hello from Scotland. Have you tried Huda? No. Your take on Lumi? Never tried that. Um, and I think they do have a dark enough color, but I never tried that. Can we get this tutorial? I love watching you do makeup, people doing their makeup, period. Yeah, I think you he was here, but this won't go out till next week. I use uh Saray for dry skin and eczema. See, that works. Is this just about makeup? <laughs> I mean, for right now it is. You can stick around, you can come back later. Me too. Black Radiance comments. Me too. I use Ebony. I like Ebony Illuminator favorite. Ruby kisses all over go. Um, girl, I'm listening to the live. I can't sit here and hold and watch it. I'm at work, sis. Can't hold my phone. I understand, my boo. Thank you for stopping in. Hey, your skin is amazing. Thank you. I want to get into makeup, but it's just so much. And having eczema makes it hard for me to know what products to use. And honestly, when you have problem skin, it really is hard. But B. Marie, if you watch her, and oh, she hasn't dropped one. I was about to say, that girl cleared her skin like shit. Time to infamous. She cleared her skin like shit. But it... I, Time and Infants misuse a lot of products. She used a lot of products to clear her skin. So, when you have problems with sensitive skin, you do got to do a lot. And you have to be cautious when wearing makeup. You're right. Um, who are you? You got to go. Okay, here we go. We'll be saying, do you get PR packages? No, I don't. We're going to talk about the makeup thing. Becca Primer works good. Have I had Becca? I think I had Becca three years ago. Um, where we go? Where we at? I'm sorry, y'all. Um, hey boo, hi, I use cocoa butter, my holy grail, that's right, hey boo, hello, it's okay, y'all, I gotta get there, y'all going off, but I got, I gotta get there to block the people, it's okay, I use black road radiance, um, let's talk about this makeup thing, and I had to talk about this, I think, in my, what is this, my beauty channel live, just yesterday or never then, I have a makeup channel on YouTube, right, I show you the basics, Somebody asked me, do I get PR packages? What I like about this foundation? Have I tried this? I'm not a makeup lover, guys. And because I'm not a makeup lover, I'm not where everybody at. I don't go out and purchase all of these makeup products and get on the next, next best thing. I stick to what I got. I stick to what I like and I make it work. Because makeup isn't a passion. It's not something I love to do and or love to wear. So... You know, I'm just not going to go out. You name all these things. No, I don't have it. I, I get what I like and that's it, you know. And and, and I, I'm, somebody just asked me, have I tried Fenty? I have not. I'm just, listen, bitch. Not you. 
I'm grown. I ain't got time to be out here spending money on all these expensive um, makeup stuff and stuff like that. I just don't have that, girl. Like, when you move out and you live on your own, but you got bills, you got car no car insurance, you got rent, you got electric, you got gas, you got food, you got this. You got so many bills. And the last thing I'm thinking about is going to go pick up a goddamn highlight of $38. It's not happening. Last thing I'm thinking about picking up is a palette or a new foundation. It's just not happening. You feel me? So, it is what it is. Um, stick to the basics. Exactly. I'd love that you're not you're not even acknowledged. Of course. Come on now, girl. About what you can for. Exactly. Um, so that's that. Hey, boo. Hi, honey. Somebody asked me about my favorite YouTubers. Honestly, <laughs> I don't really watch like beauty YouTubes or anything like that. Um like beauty channels i do i watch jackie aina that's somebody i have to click on soon as she upload but i'm really into like um fun fact i was just saying yesterday i'm into like <laughs> birds like <laughs> i like cockatoos i like macaws i'm into like bird training videos i would never get them but i love them i love fish so i love like channels with like pets and fish on it like the king of diy i like watching stuff like that <laughs> i mean of course i got my t channels and stuff like that so i'm looking at my subscriptions right now um who is this Alyssa ashley is judy's life monica style muse um here we go martin lewis miss diva like glamazon tay um who is this here for the t jackie Ina, choice tv brianna marie look all of destiny i got some people up here that i do watch but i mean shit and this one i get the time to Whew. face b i love your hair i want that wig you live in new york right hell no honey <laughs> um thank you thank you thank you have you ever linked up with any other youtuber i have um what's her name um glamazonte i know we went to the same college together kimberly sherelle her and I used to be close years ago, so me and her have hooked up before. Charla Patrice, we are cool. Any other YouTube outside of that? Nah, girl, I'm kind of, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. Here we go. Um, where we at? Ugh, sorry, y'all, I'm pressing stuff. You are good, and products you use are reasonable pricing. You make it look on point. Thank you, honey. I love you on Ebb's channel. I watch all the time. Thank you. My favorite bird is a blue-footed bo booby? Bobby? I've never seen that. And you want to come from Ed and her rain sounds. Oh, my God. That girl's clay. Stop looking at her life. Wait, I'm sorry. I don't know what you talking about. But, okay, all the big YouTubers. Hey, yes, her hair is nice. Dang, I would have never thought that you watch stuff like that. Fun fact, right? Sis is looking good, especially on Ebb Snap. Oh, you see me? <laughs> Thank you. I watch all your channels. I'll be waiting on you on Ebb like a crackhead. Please don't make me laugh. I watch Glamazon Tay, Tangia Smith, Passion Jones. I do watch Passion Jones, Platinum D. List keeps going. Would you ever do any more story times? I don't think my life that lit to do story times. I'll be sitting here thinking like, damn, what could I talk about? You know? Like, what has happened in my life? I don't know. Patricia Wright's videos have me dead. I recommend her if you're bored and need to laugh. I never really watched Patricia, Patricia Wright. You are such a beautiful person. Thank you. I don't know what she's talking about. Love your hair and makeup. Thank you. I've always loved your energy. Thank you so much. This is looking bomb. What's something you always wanted to do? Relating to what? <laughs> like a crackhead, I'm dead. Um, what do you mean? You got to go really fast. But what I'm saying, what is something I've always wanted to do? I don't know. Um, no, I didn't. No. No, I didn't. I ain't make nobody no damn moderator. I just blocked her, boy. Um, but listen, if we get troll comments, let's not acknowledge that. It's easy just to get them bitches out of here and go. But we ain't got to complain about them because we just not doing that. You feel me? Um, if it's one thing I could do, I want... What's your dream vacation? Uh, I know too. I know I really want to visit Australia, Brisbane, Australia. Um, I know I want to go to Cancun. I want to go to Jamaica. I want to go to the UK. I want to go to different places, but shit. <laughs> um, I don't know. 
it's a I mean on my bucket list like little stupid shit I want to go parasailing I want to go jet ski I want to go skydive and stuff like that but I don't like roller coasters but those are my bucket list so that means you you get to those when you get to those it ain't something I gotta plan you feel me where we at where we at <laughs> what's your dream okay what's the place you would like to travel to I just said that you deleted him real quick you know got to go just in general that you've never done traveling face and fears oh i just mentioned that have you done a how we met with ed um i've always wanted to go to hawaii i've been to hawaii i've never really had a thought about going to egypt australia too but they have huge spiders girl and her is hot as hell um i screenshot it to you thank you i seen it the chosen making my bs detective go off who's your favorite music artist currently um i'm always gonna rock for august i've seen it that's my baby but he is in the cut right now i'm really feeling cardi b um who else y'all know i really wasn't on kanye west's tip but i watched this video with him and charlamagne of god because i'm all about trying to figure out where people was thinking is at. um so i tried to listen to his album it's only like seven songs on there it really ain't give me too much to even understand where he was at i i don't know so it's only one song on kanye album that i really like and it's only the one where Nicki minaj wrote he was talking about his daughter who else do i listen to right now girl i got all the right to shit but no favorite artist. I'm still listening to Chris Brown. Um, I guess when I was popping. K Michelle will forever be my baby. Um, that's it. Shit. Okay, here we go. Um, I missed the hell out of you. Thank you. I'm gonna go skydiving. Are there any new artists that you're listening to? I got a new phone. I need some music. Not no new. I don't like roller coasters. Can we get a video on that exact look? Like, I'm gonna need the hair and the makeup. So, the hair you can't get because <laughs> the hair, I literally just put this on for myself today because I haven't been wearing wigs in like forever because I've been making wigs. Do y'all know I make wigs? But I've been making wigs, so I haven't really had to do myself. So, I didn't film my hair, but you, you will get the um the makeup look. Here we go. You know, you got to go. New York trip. Hey, what about Pusha T? Oh, I sat down and watched his interview with The Breakfast Club because I just, I, I give people chances. Now, I've never really listened to Pusha's music, but his album just dropped and I was supposed to listen to it one night while I'm in bed and I didn't, but I'm getting there. Um, more challenges with Ed. I guess so. See, here's the thing with my girlfriend and I. We just not that, how do I say it? I mean, Ab and I are so content with just being us. And that means showing y'all what we do, having fun, loving on each other, getting lit, being lit, meeting people. Like, that's, that's, that's us. That's how we vibe. That's how great we are. But as far as pranks and challenges and stuff like that, like, that's, that's not us you know it's just not us my my with ebony and i on my other channel because i won't bring her to this channel she's been to this channel before um but i don't want to just simply bring my girlfriend on like this is you know what i mean i just i don't know so we damn sure not getting to prank so we can cut that now <laughs> we're not doing that um come on ratchet music yes kanye is just a lost soul at this point you know i think kanye knows what the fuck he's doing to be honest but that's just me um i like throwback kanye west college dropout would you ever get any surgery done because i know i will i've contemplated it before like i wanted to get i wanted to get the sleeve i wanted to get a brazilian butt lift i wanted to do a fat transfer i've wanted to do all those things and maybe at this point because i'm not financially able to do it it's kind of like i'm um, cool but even if i was financially able to do it i don't think i would get a sleeve um i think personally for myself i I would just challenge myself to lose the weight, which I have been doing. As far as my butt, I like my butt, but you know that shit could be a little more fatter. So that's that's something I would consider. Other than that, stomach area, weight, face, I ain't messing with none of that. You get me? Like I'm fine with where I am, but that ass get a little fatter. So I wouldn't mind that, but I ain't got nothing against it. Here we go. Um, I. I, I like it okay wait <laughs> i like him and show music but her attitude kills me she's gotten better though i want a wig honey you want a wig send me a message on um facebook messenger all my social media is at nini today do you listen to an artist by the name of her um only thing i've heard from her is could you focus on me that <laughs> um why don't you do pranks because i ain't got the time for them shits 
Um, it's so cliche. We enjoy y'all for y'all. Thank you. Ed attempted a prank on Nene, y'all. Remember? I don't know. When did she do that? Yes, if it don't fit, don't force it. I'm probably the one that's not into the couple's pranks. Look at whoever's here. You about to come in? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, exactly. Kanye knows the fuck he's doing. Hi, hello. Don't mess with your body. Look good. What? Oh, just we lit. Oh. You know how I do then, hashtag we lit, too lit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then you got the title and the thumbnail. Yeah. She already released the vlog. Um, that's don't mess with your body. You look good. Thank you. Love your hair. Makeup. Thank you. Stick with regular couple videos or challenges as long as you have fun. And that's what we want to do. Yeah, but it don't have to be black. You see, I got that one oh, right there. My bad. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um that's it, right? Yeah. That's Nene, I have a question. I go to I go out. I go out of a relationship with someone who was an orphan. He ended up cheating and dragging my name through the mud. I realize he should, he has narcissist traits, but still sad. Why? I'm sorry. I don't understand. It's, it's, you go out with a guy who was an orphan, but he drags your name. You say he's a narcissist, but he's sad. I don't understand your question. Make a pop and thank you. Um, we should get you Americans listening to more UK rap. Hey, Nene, look up the song Changes real quick. You might like it. Okay, hold on. Just wait. Just wait. Hello, what are you doing in this live stream? I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Um, Ed was acting like she was on the phone with someone in the dark and you busted it. Oh, yeah. You look good, boo. Thank you. Hi, Ebony. Do you watch boo? I don't know. Advice videos? No, I don't even know who that is. How's your weight loss going? What Ed doing in the other room? Cheating? <laughs> do Ed's makeup again. Ebony's not going to allow me to do her makeup again. As y'all see on that last video, honey was over it. But I, she let me do it that one time, which I ain't going to force her no more. Wait, how y'all going to upload the vlog now? I know. <laughs> The vlog had to go up, so if you guys just got the notification, but the vlog is up, sis. Um, how's your weight loss going? I haven't talked to my main channel, but if you know anything about weight loss pills, I was on Phenamine. Um, I did very well on Phenamine. Um, I did very well on Phenamine, and then I took myself off of Phenamine. Um, I maintained my weight very good, and then I slapped for a week. Gained my weight really bad, real fast. Gain my way back. Point is, I was trying to put myself back on phenamine. My doctor gave me something stronger. Right now, I'm taking Tenuate Dose Pan. That is T E N U A T E Dose Pan. D O S P A N. Um, that's what I'm taking as far as weight. In a matter of six days, I've lost 10 pounds. I don't know if it's just water weight, if it's just weight. You know, I. Shit, that's kind of crazy. No matter six days or five days, I've lost 10 pounds. But last Thursday, I weighed in at 259.8. Today, I woke up, I am 249.8. So, that's that. But that's also because I only take in probably no more than... I don't even meet 700 calories, to be honest. I'm sitting here eating fucking strawberries. Like, that's that. But my weight loss is going really, really good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How, uh, what Ed doing in the other room? She's actually making shirts right now. Uh, wait, how y'all gonna build the book? I went out, sorry, and I can't seem to get past the relationship. We broke up and it's been seven months and I still have terrible side effects from the guy. I mean, if somebody drags your name and, and, and kind of hurts you, sometimes hurt, how can I say this? Sometimes when people go overboard or go to the extreme on us, we kind of got to let that go. Um, and it's okay to hurt and it's okay to be hurt. But then you have to learn how to manage your feelings, too. So that's having a conversation with yourself. That's motivating yourself. That's pushing yourself and encouraging yourself, too. So if somebody's kind of, like, done the extreme to us and it's unforgivable and they really put you through a lot, then you got to consider that, too. So you can't be moping around on somebody you missed that fucked you over, you know? Here we go. Hey, sis. Hi. The vlog going up. Yes, it just went up. Do the couples rate my outfits? That's on Fashion Nova. Yeah, I got a couple outfits in there for her that I want to do, and I want to do a style swap. The only difference is, I know that you guys on my main channel would love to see that, but Too Lit Crew would love to see that, too. So, it's like, what do I do this for? Personally, Ebony would love to do it for Too Lit Crew, but I think I'm probably going to do rate my Fashion Nova outfits on my main channel, couple swap on my blog channel we'll see um let's fight because i have to wait till you get off <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry Nee, you look beautiful thank you baby damn that's good boo congrats great thank you um ray my outfits how tall are you five 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 six nine minutes and 29 seconds okay Nee, is that the vlog bitch i know that vlog ain't nine minutes 29 seconds i be playing too goddamn much i sit there over my clip and it was seven minutes so that means her ass ain't vlog today let me see. Yep. Her ass ain't blow today. <laughs> um, here we go. 
great advice thank you your hair and makeup looks fabulous thank you very true thank you of course um i never got to where i'm going never got to the point where i've been a bitch just been busy point is i've been in grad school grad school has taken up a lot of my time um shit and grad school is hard as fuck like my program my my program is hard as a bitch so that's where i've been just trying to focus maintain my grades um and get through this shit now i'm on summer break so i have more time to really focus on this and this and, and other things but when school comes this i'll be in this bitch like oh, it's a lot um virtue thank you hey yes um what do you study what do i study what do i study what do i fucking study? social work i'm sorry i love your hair what kind of hair are you in i really don't know this one came from one of my hair bags and this is something i've just been rocking with actually no this is who had, I don't fucking know. It was in my hair bag. And um, it's just one of them wigs. I keep like my really, really good wigs. And I just pulled this one out. I was like, bitch, you getting on today. So that's that. Um, that's why Eb ain't want to say hi to guilt. <laughs> what are you studying? I told you, what is your program? Social work. Yes, you graduated from grad school. You got this. I'm a social work too. Yes, I want to be a psychologist. Video on college experience. I did that. I, I did a video on my college experience. I did that shit 2016 when I graduated. Hi, everyone. Hi, boo. Um, I did a video on that. So my bachelor's degree was in criminal justice. My graduate, my master's degree will be in social work. From there... I do want, I don't know what I want to go into. I think I want to, I know I don't want to work with children. I want to work with adults, but I don't know if I want to go into couples counseling. I don't want, I don't know if I want to go into the aging community. Probably not. I don't know if I want to go into the medical field, social work. I really don't know, but I do know once that I'm going to take my licensure, licensure exam and go from there. But, um, I also want to open up a bakery <laughs> i guess that's a fun fact i do want to be a business owner and i it, it has to be a bakery so i am in trying to work that out too along with other things so that is just a passion of mine i love cooking whether it's cooking food or if it's baking i love those too so i really have this vision of this bakery that i really want to open here i have the location for it it's just all about taking the next steps from there so yeah here we go here we go here we go here we go um how long is your program for it was generally two years but because when i first started my program i really fucked up i thought that a 90 was an a i thought a 90 was an a so i had one a how many classes i take five plus one a i think three b's and a c no one A, three B's, and a C. Point is, my GPA dropped. My GPA, because in grad school, you got to maintain, I think, like, uh, 3.2. One of those GPAs in my program, it dropped. It, it dropped. Um, and I, they put me on academic probation. Well, when you're on probation, that puts you back on your classes. So, instead of it being two years, I'm now three years in. It's a mess, but that's why i am but this semester bitch i got straight a's so it's on dean's list i was not playing because i've never been on academic probation like that's not where i'm at but a lot of shit was going on that time um whatever you do will be great thank you nini do lives more often please you have a great personality i appreciate it i just said that on my other channel like i need to go live on my main channel like seriously so what happens with the criminal justice degree honestly it didn't get me fucking nowhere and i noticed that my last year of college like i got this goddamn degree i don't need it i should have got my degree in like business to be honest i should have got in like computer science i really 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 should have but should have could have would it's gone now i noticed that my senior year when i noticed that why the fuck did you get this degree like what are you gonna go into you don't want to be a cop you don't need a criminal justice degree to go in any part of the criminal field realize that at the end so that degree is there it is what it is but yeah where we at um hire me in the bakery field thank you here we go y'all got a lot okay why don't you start your own cosmetics line because it's not my passion it's not something i would you know couples counseling sounds like it would be it would fit your gifts thank you boo do you think your background and going through what you went through with your mom has influenced your major for sure um not yeah for sure because I, I mean, it's so much in the foster care system that needs to be changed. Not only that, just with social workers, too. Um, and yes, I think my background plays a huge part in my decision to helping people. Not only that, I love people. Like, 
I love helping people. I love trying to understand people. I love like guiding people. I love that. So I love communicating. That's why I talk a lot. So I think that's just the best field. And the, the biggest issue with me is that I'm so, I'm so like compassionate. I'm so sensitive. I take on other people's problems. I care about people so much. Like, oh my gosh, I hate that sometimes people are just in situations that's just beyond me. Um, and that could be bad for a social worker. Like, that could be so bad. But I will never change that about myself. Like, I, I love that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> um, what's your favorite pastries? Um, but th that's the thing. I'm not a pastry eater. I really don't like eating sweets. If anything, I'm a chip girl. I like chips. I, I love chips. Pastries, if I was to eat sweets, I don't know if it would be cupcakes or cakes. I guess it'd be donuts, to be honest. But I can't tell you because I really don't even like sweets. <laughs> um, where we at? Hey, can you spell the name of that medicine again? Oh, do, uh, tenuate, T-E-N-U-A-T-E, -E, dose pan, D-O-S-P-A-N. Somebody put it down there for me. Um, I'm sorry, what the fuck did I do? Click and shit. Okay, here we go. I got a phone call in the middle of the line. Vlog and hung up. It's okay, me too. So I took a break from work and all that. Ah, because shit got stressful. I would love to be a CEO, slate executive officer. You better fuck it up. You really do have a great personality. I love your voice. Thank you. A lot of people say my voice remind them of Candy from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Sometimes when I listen to myself in my videos, I'll be like, damn, you do sound like Candy. <laughs> um, thank you for putting it at K. Do you have a cooking channel? No, I don't. Yes, Dean's List. You already know. Hello. As long as you finish, you know I am. Um, I have a 3.9. I dropped to a 3.5 over the last couple of quarters. It's okay, but push yourself though. Like now my gpa right now since i brought it back up it's a 3.48 i've never been that low myself generally when i graduated college i graduated madam madam kumani or soon May, one of them my gpa was a 3.89 when i graduated college point is i'm generally up there with gpa so finishing my master's is my ass gotta get the fuck back up there too hey boo hi honey would you consider working with teenagers probably not uh yeah mm. Probably not because I get so invested with children and teenagers. You expect them to know things and they just don't know. And you can't blame them for that. And then their actions and the behaviors, you sitting there looking at them like, come on, man. They just don't know. And I just don't. My expectation is kind of like, how do I bring that expectation down compared to if I'm talking to adults, you have better life experiences. It's easy to. I don't know. I just feel like I relate well more with adults. Granted, kids love me, um, but I just don't want to do kids or children. I just don't. And then, man, let me tell you, children be in so many fucked up situations that they ain't even asked for. I can't. I really can't. That's going to that's gonna hurt me. It's going to down me, so I can't do it. Um, Where we at? Where we at? Do you have any tips for students who are about to enter, like money saving tips or how do you deal with pressure? Money saving is everything. You're going to get a refund check. That's from your financial aid. Let me tell you, my first year in college, I got a fucking refund check of three thousand goddamn dollars. Ask me what I did with that three thousand dollars. I can't even tell you. I know my nails is done, but I can't tell you where that went to. And I did not know. I just saw it as free money. I, I really, because I put myself through college, so it didn't go to my mom, but it, it came straight to me. And I'm like, shit, three, refund check? Oh, girl. So, I mean, when you get refund checks, I'm not saying don't spend them. Take some of that out, but since you better stash that or something, because <sighs> this shit catch up to you, to be honest. As far as, here's the thing. Research the university that you're going to go to. I did no research about Eastern Shore, and I fucking hated it. Um, it was kind of like a last-minute thing because I really had to get into school, and I had to get into school at that point. And Eastern Shore was just the best. I really wanted to go to um, UCLA, changed my mind from there. I wanted to go to Greensboro. I wanted to go to school in North Carolina, changed my mind from there. I wanted to go to Clark Atlanta, changed from there. It was so many schools I wanted to go to. Um, finances, because I was doing it by myself, I had no guidance. So it was just like, stay home and go somewhere so then i considered frostburg <clears throat> frostburg like really didn't go there i wanted to go to U university of maryland college park my grades were great to go to university of maryland college park i think what stumped me was my sat score so point is figure out the university you're going to 
and then see all that they offer at the university and then figure out if any of those activities you're at the least if see if you're interested in any of those i said that to say when you get to your university sis you paying for that so make the best out of your time i paid for eastern shore fucking hated it um that's why i don't go to no eastern shore events now and if i do i ain't paying for it because that school is just whack um i feel like they just took all our money it's like one of the worst H it, why is it is it even an hbcu because it does not even embrace that so um really research your school and then when you get to that school let's get involved into it so yeah um here we go social workers can be so black and white my problem is finding the line between helping and fixing i do i, I understand that you're an anthem we can't help it i was in corrections for 12 years and i figured maybe i'd be a social worker in corrections i don't know late but i'm here i hey um sorry i'm late i was driving back you're okay have you ever tried working in school i know it's hard but I would love to try it. Have you tried working in school? So my school comes with an internship. Um, and I start my internship this year. So that'll happen then. Shit. Oh, are you saying working in a school? I'm, I'm not sure. I love this purple. Thank you. 18, 20 years old. Transition out of high school. Probably not. But when adults act like that, I get even more pissed off because my expectations are higher. I do understand that. But it's easier for me to... I get, I guess, get more upset at that than at a child or at someone who's young because you, you know, can't blame them. Hey, girl, if you don't mind me asking you, did you get a loan for school and do you pay it back when you leave school? Because I'm looking into universities now and it's so expensive. So what I did was, yes, apply for FAFSA. That's financial aid. Um, I applied for FAFSA. I got loans for both my school and for um, undergrad and graduate school. And the reason, okay, so when I graduated undergrad, then you know they tell you you got six more months and then loans hit you. Well, I got my loans. What's that word when you don't have to pay your loans right then? I forgot the word. But basically, they gave me a whole nother year to pay my loans. And between that time, I was like, shit, let's enroll back into school so these loans can be together. So I enrolled into master's and I don't have to pay on my loans right now because I'm not done with school. But yes, you do pay them back um, when you're done with school. You have, you just have to. Um okay so the whole third crew is watching hey i meant working a full or part-time job and also go to school i mean shit youtube my wigs itself is a part-time job sis but i mean do you mean physically going around my house i don't have to like i sustain my living just doing what i'm doing now so uh. and honestly i just my ultimate goal is shit i want to work for my damn self i get tired of waking up at seven o'clock in the morning six o'clock being somewhere trying to no we we gonna do this so Okay, I graduated in criminal justice and worked in that field for six years. It wasn't my passion. Teaching is I'm going back to school in the fall. Yes, now I'm old and it will be hard, but you you got it, sis. Defer, deferment, deferment. Yes. <laughs> Avoid Navy and Sally Mae at all costs. I don't have stop. Who do I have? Great Lakes? I don't have Sally Mae at all. Um, we on the same path. I studied criminal justice and just finished my master's. And I thought I wanted to get a teaching degree too, but it was where... Salisbury didn't have a teaching degree, teaching um, program. Actually, they did, but I had to have requirements to meet to get into that. So I was just like, hell no. Nah. Mm. I want to study medicine, but I'm stressed about the workload and the student debt, my man. Let me tell you something. This is how I had to realize that is going to, school loans, you're going to be in that. You're just going to be in that. Um, you don't need an outrageous ass school to go to where it's like seventy thousand a year of course not um but a lot of people worry about school loan debt and it's inevitable like you're gonna come across it um unless you get like a scholarship or something like that but i i think you should be smart with the school that you pick um i think you should be smart with the amount of loans you you put out get your schooling you got a job then you're gonna work you're gonna pay your loans when you're done with schools the lenders work with you they come up with a payment plan you active in your payment plan you paying your payment plan you come up with a how long it's gonna take you it's not that stressful um as long as you just being responsible should i say my loans when i graduated you and me as i think they were 37 47 000, i think for four years um and now 
Salisbury, Lord knows what it's about to be. Point is, you're going to be in debt from school. But you just got to come up with a plan after that. And people are going to die in debt. It is, it's honestly okay. Here we go. And I'm so happy that teacher can get up $29,000 off their loans paid off. And I was like, see, I didn't even know that. I'm clicking shit. And it's like, oh my gosh, y'all. Am I gone? I'm really like clicking shit right now. Get off of that. Okay, here we go. There are a lot of teachers in my family. They told me to avoid kids at all costs and the crumb snatches will drive me crazy. I don't know. I love children. I don't think children like me. I don't know what it is. Like, babies don't be wanting to come to me. Kids don't play. I got to give you that look. But babies don't be wanting to come to me. They be crying and shit. I don't think kids like me. <laughs> but, um, what else, y'all? We talked about where I've been. My ass been busy. School. We talked about school. We talked about my girlfriend. We talked about future videos. Oh, I didn't talk about my hair company. Not my hair company. So, I got into the custom wig making business. The wig making business. And it's honestly, like, booming for me. I get so many wig orders or whatever. Um, so, go to my Facebook at Nini Tanay. You'll see some of the wigs I post. I do sell wigs too. I'm actually about to have a sale coming up this week. I mean, not this week, next week. So probably Monday or something like that. My wigs are pretty expensive. They can be as low as $200. Um, when people start getting into the longer list, I think the most expensive wig I've had was $350. Um, and then it's kind of stopped right there. My prices have not been above that, but they will get there because, you know, coming with longer lengths and stuff like that, you really got to work out the math when it comes to that business. But it's in an, it's in need. Like, people, wigs is where it's at, sis. Wigs, hair, front tools, clothes, all that, that's where it's at. So, that's been doing really, really good. If you're interested in a wig or you want to see some of the wigs I post, Follow my social media, slide in my DMs. I'm working on getting a website working, but right now, this is what we're doing. My girlfriend has a company, too. She makes custom t-shirts. Y'all, I told y'all I'm from the D and motherfucking V. So, here's this t-shirt she made for me. Got the flag up there. I love this t-shirt right here. Um, so, if you're interested in that, she has a t-shirt company, Lit Custom Tees. You can follow them on Facebook. You can follow them on Instagram. Um that's that <laughs> where we go where we go <sighs> kids are not your lie detectors oh my god exactly plan pray let it go let god don't let money stop you because if you do that's right you're gonna be stressed but let it be um hey chicago here hi honey god got us yes he does you have came so far i'm so happy thank you People encourage me for forever. Like, girl, stop selling your wigs. So what I did was, y'all know I make my own wigs through my own hair. I made a wig, right? You know, people, I started getting feedback on that. And, and that's the biggest thing. Like, my customers will tell you, I'm always emailing them, like, how's your wig? How's your hair? I know the hair is going to be amazing. I sell great hair. I think it's the quality of the wig that I really want to know. And I know my quality is good, but I want to know, is your band too tight? Does the, the cap fit? Um, so getting feedback was everything. I don't do front twos. I've sold one front two, and I'm waiting on feedback on that. Um, and I got another front two that I'm about to sell. Um, but that's not something I'm specializing in right now. Right now, I do closures, but they look front two like Girl, we're going to slay the fuck out that closure. Um, so I don't know. I, I just kind of jumped on it on a limb, and I, and, and I saw that people were interested and then people started and that's been that I just don't do that um, where we at y'all where we at I love the shirt thank you do you have any friends yeah I do why you asking me that love you baby girl love you back salt and pepper hair oh no I just don't do cover where do you purchase the hair do you have a vendor I do have a vendor Um, and that's where I get my hair from and then I make my wigs and go from there um That's that. I'm sitting here, oh god damn, eating these damn strawberries. Do you have any friends? I do have friends, actually. Ebony was just asking me. She was saying, we so far away, and I don't feel like we have people that we could depend on. And Because we was discussing something. I'm like, I have a lot of friends here that I know if I call them right now, something happened, my friends are going to be there. So, I do have friends. Do I have like a roly? 
No. Do I have like a best, best friend? No. My best friend lives in Japan. Well, he's stationed in Japan right now. So, that nigga, we've been at it since high school. But, um, I don't know. At this time in my life, I don't think I'm looking for friends. I'm open to building like new relationships and new, you know, friends and stuff like that. What's up, boo? Just can't be But looking for best friends. Come on. Looking for best friends. Fuck off. <laughs> no, I don't. Not in here. That's just not what I'm looking for right now. I have a lot of couple friends. Um, and we vibe like that. You know, just couples and I have that. I met some good associates at school. Best, 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 best now. Um, can I send you the hair? You can send me the hair and I can make the wig. Uh, message me, Facebook, at Nini Tanae. Bye, man, you so sexy. Oh, my God. I'm going to get a snack. Okay. How do you find hair vendors? Um, well, because I'm a beauty influencer, I've worked with hair companies before. Um, it's kind of about, like, marketing yourself and shit. It's all email work. Um, and I found a great hair vendor that was able to work with me and we work with each other and, and shit, it works. Shit, you get my fucking money to buy these bundles, sis. So that's how it goes from there. Um, I just had a company that I had a really good relationship with and it was, it, it, oh my God, it worked out so amazing because I had already loved the hair anyway that they provided to me. So it was kind of like, this is what I'm doing. Could we find a way we could work together like this? And it was like, let's do it. So my vendor's lit. I like my vendor. Um, hey, Nini. Hi, boo. How's your teacher? Hey, I love your channel. How's your teacher been? And would you ever do mukbangs? Mukbangs. No, I'm not to into the whole, like, mukbang, eating, people eating. Be lovely. I don't know what the fuck it is about her. But I watch her channel. Now, I don't watch the ASMR shit. I can't listen. That, that shit throws me way off. The reason why I think I watch Be Lovely is because she gets the seafood and i've never seen these animals like crabs so big shrimp so big and it's like i'm so intrigued at the fact that this meal on your plate this animal was huge and you're gonna crack the leg open and all of this meat is gonna come out it's just like one of those things like these animals are huge that's what i'm intrigued by but the whole eating smacking watching people eat i'm just not into that you know and that's the only because i know what it is about be lovely like i it's just that she gets these king claw things and i'm just sitting here watching her like and then she's so small and she eats all of this food i'm like sis where the fuck does that go like her videos be 40 minutes of her just eating i'm intrigued at that aspect like how are you able to do that like what is your health like you see, she got this big old bowl of sauce that that is literally sodium, and she's like tan food up, and I'm just like, what is going on? So that intrigues me, but just mukbangs and stuff like that, fuck no. Um, can you do more cooking videos? I need to. I can't promise. Are you happy? Hell yeah. Do a meatless or fruit mukbang. I don't know if I'm gonna do a mukbang, y'all. I'm not with that hair makeup. Pretty, thank you. Be loved by some seafood and Sam's Club. Wow, that shit low key be making me hungry, and I already said I'll be broke, so <laughs> it don't even make me hungry. It's just intriguing. Like I've never seen a crab that big or a shrimp that that big, and when I see all this shit on her plate, it's like what? But I'm not the girl. It it just it intrigues me. Yeah. She be telling that you up, but it's too much for me, honestly. I don't know how people eat all that, and I'm sure her blood pressure high as hell. It has to be. I mean, one of her things is like $380. Like, who the fuck paid this much? Girl, you can have that. You can have that. And even if I had that, I ain't spending that on no goddamn crap. Girl, no. I wonder the kind of stomach she has. She can put some food away. Hell, I'm fat. I don't know because she looks like she's small, but she eats all that fucking food in your fat. Girl, you can have that. Love your hair. Thank you. Um, and you love drinks nothing but water. Oh, I don't. I don't know her that well, so you may be right. You like seafood? I love seafood. I love crabs. That's my second favorite food. And then I like shrimp. That's it. You ask me anything else. I don't like scallops. I don't like oysters. I don't like clams. <laughs> I don't like calamari, I guess. But that's it. I don't really eat none of that other stuff. What do you do for anxiety if you have it? I don't have anxiety. And all that seafood throws your pee off. Yes! Come on now. Nice smile. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out a hairstyle I want a bob, but I always mess up the cut. I actually just did a bob that's over there too, and I actually just put it in my vlog. Literally, cutting a bob is not that hard, to be honest. You could simply, like, 
put all the hair in the back and cut across if you want. The method I use is the ponytail method and it depends on the type of bob I want. Like if I want the bob all around, then I'm gonna put the ponytail in here and I'm gonna cut going up. If I want like a long bob or like long on one side, then I'm gonna leave some hair out. I'm gonna cut up, do it with O leave, like some out right here, cut up. It's not that bad. Like it's really not. I've watched a couple YouTube um tutorials over the years i've kind of figured out how to figure out how to do bobs now when it start getting into with some clippers and shit I don't do that. we got scissors on <laughs> um where we go black is beautiful you know it is have you watched or did you watch more every day three o'clock <laughs> do you glue your wigs or sew it these wigs are here by down by got to be glued um that's just the best thing i've been using girl i care for my fucking edges okay um i just can't be experimenting with shit got to be glue works and it works just fine the next thing i have is the bold hold cream now i've had the bold hold lace tape i couldn't fucking stand it the cream is literally the lace tape once it dries um and it works but i don't see the hype sis because i can get this bitch wet and it comes right off <laughs> so i don't use it that often that shit will pull your hair you get that shit on your edges right here when you take that bitch off just know it's gonna pull your hair but i got the lace remover that works really good so yeah i don't really get into the glues and shit i just use got to be um what advice do you have for someone else who wants to try youtube thank you for being you i don't know because it's so hard trying to blow up on youtube now youtube for is it just to be fun is it just to be a side hustle like what what are you trying to do it for what community are you trying to get into also what's your craft how you gonna make yourself different youtube the guidelines are changing it is not what it was back in 2014 not to that at all um so um yeah um uh, favorite hair length hmm I'm not a long hair girl. That shit gets on my... Like, this is too long for me. You see, I keep going like this. So, I guess you give me a good... I don't like no longer than 20. Um, I don't like no longer than 20. I could do a good 16, 18, make it work. Can I ask you the biggest favor ever, please? Tell me what it is. Which, vi which video make you blow? I'm sorry. What are you saying? Oh, which video made you blow up? I don't know. Oh, I think it was my... How to apply foundation and stuff like that. Um, how do you take care of your natural hair? I always keep my under's braids because it's literally a tangled mess. Oh, girl, I pay attention to my natural hair. I love my natural curls. I literally just chopped a lot of my fucking hair off because it just needed to go. But I'm always, like, deep conditioning my hair. If I'm in a shower, I'm always, like, giving it water, putting conditioner in it. I may wash it, but I really just wash the roots of my hair. Um, but that, I try to do that every Sunday, but sometimes, bitch, it would be on Sunday, it would be on Thursday. Like, it's sometimes twice a week. Under my wigs, I just put two, um, what is it? Two braids under that. Two not braids, but two little twists under it. Um, but I, I love wearing my natural hair. I really do. And then I like wearing my wigs, but I love my natural hair. And it's so Um, uh, Where we at? Are your units sewn in or bonding? They're wigs. There's no sewing. I mean, I sewed the hair onto the wigs, but I can take this bitch off. Well, I can't because it's like the glue is down. But point is, none of those. Um, I sewed the hair onto the wig and I popped that bitch off at night. You're beautiful. Thank you. What deep conditioner do you use? I have a really, really good one that I love right now. Um... This is the Carol's Daughter Almond Milk one. I really love this conditioner. On the least expensive side, shit, it's in my shower. I can't even tell you. It's the Mega Growth, Mega Thick, something like that deep conditioner. But those are the two that I really, really love. What are you in school for? How many lives do you have left? Social work, three years. I'm graduating nursing school and I need help with my makeup. I'm using drugstore makeup and like Maybelline and LA Girls, such the primer, concealer, also use Sasha. Okay, good. Tell me what else. Hello. We love your natural hair too. Thank you. I follow the steps, but I end up looking crazy. I see so many blemishes under the makeup and I look ashy, but I don't even bake. So if you're looking ashy, that means one of your colors is off. Generally, it may just be a foundation or powder. Um... And it may just be a powder you should get. Um, or it could be your foundation is just too light. It's one of those two where you're looking ashy. Um, what else? Your blemishes. Your concealer, as I taught you guys before, it's all about tapping. You got to tap that bitch out. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking one of your colors is off. 
Okay, where we at? You and Ebb should do an updated Q&A as well as Ebb should do her version of Twerk Something Tuesday, go-go version, live with Manny. We should do an updated Q&A. We need to, actually. Oh, I was supposed to tell it in the vlog to do that today, and I fucking forgot. Damn. Okay. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I just explained. How do you... Do you watch Love and Hip Hop? How you feel about Tokyo Vanity and Spice? Let me tell you, it's crazy because... Tokyo has been popping on Instagram for forever. Sometimes I looked at her videos, sometimes I did not. Um, but I never was like, oh, I don't like her. Now that she's on Love and Hip Hop, I can kind of see the person that she really is. I, I really like Tokyo. I really do. You can see that she... I don't see how she got so fucking close to Carly, but I think that's just how it was scripted to be. Because Carly ain't a, a person that you want to be your best bitch. And Tokyo didn't seem like Carly would be her best bitch, so I don't know how that happened. I'm not really watching Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. On my Instagram, I follow these pages that um show, like, little clips, and that's how I'm able to keep up. Spice, I ain't fucking with homegirl. Like, I don't know, I just, uh, I just can't. I ain't, she ain't my cup of tea. I'm thinking about doing a big chop, but I love me a sewing. What do you think I should do? Girl, let me tell you this, sis. I went and big chopped my hair forever ago. I got a nice little shortcut style, okay? Well, no, the bitch fucked me up. Let's 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 keep it like that. But I cut my hair short. I mean, side shaved, back shaved, everything. Then what I did from there was, when I was done with that shortcut, I made a wig, put that wig on. The only thing I hated was that there was no way I could put bobby pins in. But, bitch, I got a band. That's what the band is for. Wigs were doing it. Not only that, I was gluing my tracks in. I was in, high, I was in college during this time. Gluing my tracks. Girl, I ain't got no hair back here. Fuck that. Whatever little hair we got back here, we gonna part that. We gonna glue them tracks. We gonna glue them tracks. When my hair started growing then, I'm sorry, my hair. When my hair started growing, that's when I started switching the wigs. So... Listen, it's more options out here when you big chop. You ain't ass out like when we was in elementary and middle school, sis. You got options. You do a big chop, cut your hair into a nice, cute little shortcut. And I kind of cheated the system. What I did was I permed my hair, um, got my hair cut into a nice style. I let the perm grow out. I mean, this little bit ain't shit. I let the perm grow out. As my perm was going out, you know, my hair in the middle, I mean, shit, it's starting to grow into my curls now. I would glue my tracks in, but then once that started getting long, I no, more, I no longer can start gluing that in. So I just started, in fact, putting wigs on. Girl, wigs to save your life. Come on now. Um, here we go. So is Shea Moisture still canceled? Because that's my shit. Listen, I can't even remember what happened to the whole Shea Moisture scan. Scan, uh, scan, scandal. I really cannot remember. Was it like some racist shit? But I used to buy Shea Moisture, but I stopped. I don't know why I stopped. I haven't bought this stuff since the little scandal. Because I remember like, hmm, should we all cancel it? I don't remember what it was, but I really wasn't buying this stuff anyway. So I get, girl, look, for this natural hair, mine, sis, we gonna put all good shit up in here. So this right here is amazing. Um, Camille Rose, they got this honey. You need it. This is gonna keep your hair moisturized. Pure honey shit. Keep your hair moisturized. When you get done with that deep conditioning your hair wet, put this shit in here. Um, what else? I put some good shit in my hair. Let me tell you what I put. Y'all got the Carol's daughter right there. Something I live by. Miel. Avocado hair milk. This, when you pair both these bitches, your hair gonna be moisturized for like five days at the most. Like, it literally is good. And I make sure I do that under my wigs because when I braid it, I need my hair to keep some moisture. That shit, th these two are amazing. Next, what else I got for you? I told you I put some good shit in my hair. I don't play no games. This, main choice, great. Actually, let me take that back. I don't think I'm going to be purchasing it. this again. This is a three-in-one. Mio does just fine. Main choice can be expensive. So I don't know if I'm going to purchase this again, but I'll tell you what I will purchase from them. And that is this shit right here. Girl. This is the main choice biotin infused style, style gel. It's pretty expensive, but this shit here. You want some popping curls? That's gonna give it to you. And it's super water-based too. Like, let me see if I can show you. Like, can y'all see? Like, that's the watery ass product that's about to drop out. It's it's a great it's a great product. It really is. Um now on the less expensive, because those are expensive. Now I do have as I am double butter. I love these butters for, because I have a double butter and twisting butter. I use the double butter for my braid outs. Work perfect. Mixing as I am with any type of gel, I just learned that it flakes my shit up. So, 
I just use this by itself, but I haven't been experimenting with my natural hair that much, so I haven't really used this that often. I only use it like once or twice for a twist out, braid out. Um, what else? This, I love these. Let me show y'all right quick. Damn, bitch, I didn't even know. Oh, I know I had this. I was about to say, I know I had this. It's still full. This, you want something inexpensive? These shits work. This is the leave-in conditioner. I only use this because it's a spray if I'm about to flat iron my hair. Um, flat iron and blow dry my hair. Leave-in conditioner. This is a hair milk. I really don't know how great this is because I probably only use this once. Like, this is still full. So, I can't even tell you how great this is, but I know I do like this brand. Um, what else? What else? <laughs> I think that's it. No, I got a lot of shit in here. I really do got a lot of shit in here, y'all, y'all. This is on Jackie's. On Jackie's is a nice line. Like, it really is. I really, I really be wanting to buy all on Jackie's shit, but I just don't. But on Jackie's is lit because I got a whole hair bin full of shit. Um, dippity do curls. This should get your curls popping, too. Y'all ever seen this? This is the only place I really found this in is, um, Marshall's. I like this. That's it, y'all. I got too many goddamn hair products to keep pulling out. Cantu is good, too. Um, here we go. Okay, maybe my foundation is definitely off. Then thank you. I'm gonna keep practicing. Definitely do that. You're black. You're welcome. I'm black. I'm back. I was binge watching 13 Reasons Why. How season two? Spice built like a toaster and got the nerd talk wasn't my way. I hate fat shaming people. You know, she came out with this statement and she said that in her culture, fat shaming is not really seen as fat shaming. And honestly, she does have a point there. But guess what? You know what the fuck you was doing. I'm not, listen, we not getting it. I know this is old, but why did you and your ex broke up? I never knew why. And we ain't going to talk about it why. Sis, that was three years ago. People who fat shame. Thanks, boo. They use Caucasian females instead of us in their ads. I like D Miel. Yup, Miel's good. Hey, Nee. Hi, boo. I know you're working on weight loss. Um, is there a reason why you never thought about working out? I think I explained this before, but I have an insecurity about going to the gym and working out. I feel like all eyes are going to be on me because I'm a heavier girl and people are like, oh, she really need to be in there. Or if I get tired fast, people are like, oh, she need to. It, it's, it's something that I'm really insecure about and I don't want to face that. So instead, I work out in my house. But I'm working on that. Like... Fuck that. Fuck what people say. Fuck what people... And this is easy to say, but I'm really trying to tell myself, like, listen, get the fuck in the gym. Why you think they in there? They ain't got to be big, but they in there trying to work on something. Whether you get tired fast, whether you can only run for 30 seconds, guess what? You in there. It is what it is going to be, you know? So that's why I have not been to the gym. I do it in my house. I haven't even started my workout thing, but the reason why I haven't started my workout thing is because, one, I've just been busy these last six days, but, two, um... Why haven't I? Why haven't I? I've been dieting. Baby go. <laughs> Sis got everything. I told you I do. I got to try that main choice to line because Eco Style is canceled. You know what? I'm going to still work on my fuck ass Eco Style. I hate this one. I like the green one. But Eco Style does me so great. Like, it does my edges really good. I do not use Eco Style for like defining my curls the only thing i use eco style for is my edges i don't like this one somebody gave me this i think emmy took this from her mom's house and started i had eco style and she, her mom had it her mom didn't use it so gave it to me my favorite eco style is the green one and it lays the fuck out my edges um okay 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 where we go lol we ain't finna talk about that you know we not hey girl hey boo what's your favorite series to watch currently on netflix that you can recommend wentworth is my fucking shit and they need to bring it back um, it's so many, so many things on, um, Netflix that I love, but I can't sue my account because all my shows was gone, so fuck. I can't even tell you. I understand. I felt the same way. Thank you. Three years ago, let the pad. Thank you, so girl, we ain't get on that. Nene, I'm telling you, go to the Planet Fitness, and I'm telling you all your insecurities about the window. And we do have a Planet Fitness here. Bitch, do y'all know at 3.30 in the morning, I think, I mean, I just, a couple weeks ago, on our way to cook out, get some up fucking milkshakes, because we was lit. On our way to cook out, I looked over the Planet Fitness girl was batting in there. I mean, people went, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm in the gym. It helped a lot. I know it will. Yes, it feels like everyone is competing when at the gym. I don't know how it feels, but I just, I don't want people looking at me. That's how I used to feel when I would go to the gym. It's too bad. That highlight is everything. Do you use setting spray after your makeup is finished? No. 
um, or just the setting powder. I want it to be flawless. I just use powder. This Mario Bidet School shit is lit, though. I used this before makeup. I don't. I noticed that when I spray this after my makeup, my ass is oily. I ain't fucking with that. But before makeup is lit. Here we go. Um, you seen from my weight loss video. I have not seen it, honey. Yeah, I look at workouts on YouTube and work out at home. Definitely not paying to do what I can do at home and I feel more comfortable. You feel me? Um, and when we was, the first time, beginning of the year, we was working out in the living room. And it was working for me. Like, hell yeah. Um, here we go. Hey, Nene, I'm so proud of you for thinking about yourself. To lose weight is a process. You have the right attitude. I'm a huge supporter. Thank you, baby. I have the same feelings about working out in the gym. But what I did do to try and get over that was work out in the early morning at my old gym. That was 24-7. I work out between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. Look, they was in there, bitch. Pat. Um, can you recommend eyeshadow palettes, Morphe? Sis, I could recommend what I have. I mean, Morphe is really good. I don't know where people got this whole Morphe thing. I don't know. I like Morphe eyeshadow palettes. Shit, that's all the eyeshadow palettes I got in here besides one. And that's Coastal Scents. And then from there, I got, like, stupid dumb shit like the Nubian. I have one Anastasia palette. Girl, I'm working with what I got, you know. Um, I got a couple, I told you guys, and I, I have not done Deck of Scarlet since then, but I got a couple Deck of Scarlet palettes. They are some nice palettes, but I had a whole thing with Deck of Scarlet. I really wasn't fucking with them. Have they died down? Because I haven't heard about Deck of Scarlet. Scarlet. That Mario Badescu spray is, is a great dupe for Max Fix, Fix, Fix Plus. My dumb ass spent $25. You play too much. And can you recommend an AliExpress fitting for a, really, a ready-made wig? Oh, I don't know an AliExpress fitting for a ready-made wig. I'm not sure. Um, yes, so proud of you. Gives me hope. I may have even finished my weight loss. Yes, honey. Neat. Is your skin routine still the same? If not, help. It's really not. I filmed the video on my skin skincare routine. I just have to edit it. That is not one of the routines that's going up this week coming up. Not this week. Next week coming up, you guys are going to get makeup tutorials because that's what you want. And then Saturday, be with my tea. And then the following week after that, I'm going to drop my skincare routine. So it's, I'm just planning it. Um, It's crazy when you got... I have people on my channel that love stuff, but then you have what I love. And then I'm trying to accommodate for what people love. And then you have what I love. A lot of people on my channel love makeup tutorials. I love that. It's okay. A lot of people on my channel love fashion videos. I love that. But I don't buy clothes. Like, my wardrobe is what my wardrobe is. And that's the thing. Like, viewers put so much pressures on pressures, pressure on content creators it's like when you become a content creator you got to be in a position to make everyone happy and bear with me for a minute it's like we want to see holes and we want to see new makeup and we want to see this and we want to see that and i'm not faulting you for that but i think people fail to realize that don't shit come free and you may see these lifestyle vloggers that may be popping and they do got shit to come free but my shit over here don't come free I'm not buying clothes. I fit all my clothes. My clothes fit well. I just know how to dress them nice. Um, so it's like I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not that YouTuber. And I, I don't know if I'm not that YouTuber or is it just because I'm not in that space too? And then we're gonna talk all spectrums. When I say space, I mean financially. Because let's just say financially, I get in that space. Am I gonna haul ass and buy clothes? I don't know. I don't I don't see me doing that because that's just not me. But Y'all have to understand that, how do I say it? It ain't what you, it's not that easy. Since I'm just like you. And your bank account, when you see, mm, them shoes look good, but you get me? I, I'm, I'm, that's how I am. Shit. I spend money when I want to hang out with my friends. I'm going out to eat. I'm putting stuff in my, I mean, I'm talking about besides bills. But as far as going out shopping, spend on makeup, spend on clothes and stuff like that. Just to put it on YouTube so people can request more that, listen, we ain't, we ain't got that here. Um, and a lot of people love my videos for fashion and plus size for fashion and stuff. And I thank you for that, but I can't keep up with what you want. And if you can't respect that, then I could recommend all the other people that you can look at that can keep up. You get me? And that's no disrespect. I, I, I have to be honest with you because people not saying it, you know, I'm not... 
that's where my head is at. I got clothes in there. I've ordered from Fashion Nova, but that ain't something I just keep ordering from, you know? Um, I, I want to do videos, like clothing videos. I want to do all of that, but it's like, where do I start? You know, I don't want to come with this big ass bag of clothes and it's like, all right, y'all, let's try it on. I could tell you, I could, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Point is, I have things on my channel that people love, and it's like I'm trying to cater to everyone. Um, I'm trying to make everyone happy. Where's My Tea is one of my passions, but it's a lot of people who really don't fuck with Where's My Tea like that. Makeup is okay for me. I love teaching, but people want to see more than just a neutral lip or whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's like, why can't you just take what I give you? Why do I have to change me just to make you like it? I understand you subscribe to me for a reason, but I'm not the person to do the bold colors and the halo eyes and the glitter line. I'm just not, that's not me, you know? I've been preaching that for years, and I don't know why people won't get it. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, where we go? Where we go? Okay, yes, I like Morphe. Okay, Nini is my niece's nickname. Okay, I love lives. I swear it's like me on FaceTime for real. For real, this shit is lit. Thank you, boo. Yes, to the makeup tutorials. I really miss those. Have you ever tried Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette? Yeah, I have one in here, and I really like the eyeshadow palettes. My wardrobe is what my wardrobe is. <laughs> that was that shit was real as fuck. But that is preach, mama. We appreciate you for being real. Preach. I like the body type video. Swim apple belly shape. Is that even what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but everybody don't have time and money like that. The fuck? I'm shopping at Walmart. I don't know. I mean, I have what I have. Like, you want me to do a haul? Walmart clothes. Let's get it. For real. And I think I do get some things from Walmart. But not even that. I just don't spend my money on that shit. Like, I, I, I just, I'm I, just not that person. I had to tell on my live yesterday, that is not my passion. When I started YouTube, my passion was to teach people. Makeup was... A learning experience for me and I wanted to show what I was learning and I wanted to show how I learned it and I wanted to fucking show you how I'm learning it and I'm still like that today like this I'm still learning how to do stupid shit like this and I'm I'm you know so it's like can I can I can I just do what I like to do I know you guys like that and I love I love that you love it and support me, but it becomes a lot when people are like, I want more hauls, I want more fashion videos, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. So I want to do it too, but can we can we get there or can we can we just I don't know. That's I think that's why so many YouTubers have fell off. I think that's why so many opportunities are gone because the viewers and I'm not saying you guys, but you guys know who I'm talking about. The the viewers. I'm a viewer have changed the dynamics and have changed the requirements and the expectations of content creators. And when those start to change and you start to lose sight of fucking reality, and I think that's what it is. People just lose sight of reality. Just because I'm in front of a fucking camera and I have makeup, and I'm not cussing at you, just I'm just a natural cursor, and I have makeup don't mean, bitch, I got a pocket full of coins. It ain't that, you know? It's, it's, it's not that. So I could go on a whole spill. Because YouTube is a whole conspiracy. It, it really the fuck is. Just like I said in my live video, them bitches who we came after, they still at the top. YouTube has not given the opportunity for us to get anywhere. And not saying that's where I want to be, but they got there and that's where it's at. Look at the Aaliyah J's. Look at the Alyssa Ashies. Look at the Jackie Inas. Look at the, um, um, is their name Miss Rosh Posh? Look at the Tierra Monet's. Them bitches was years ago, and they still getting the same brand deals. I mean, they still popping. Jocelyn Hill, years of this, you know, they, they still popping. When we came, me, the Charlin Patrices, the um, nah, Miss Creative Dita was this. Look at Ivy. Ivy came out with them, and she popping? No. Creative Dita came out with them, and she popping? It's a whole conspiracy to the beauty community and YouTube says, and it's, and it's unfortunate because it's literally based off what the fuck you look like. It really is. It, it really is based off what you look like. And um, you can find me on that. You can find me. I'm a win. <laughs> Where we at? Where we at? 
Um, hey Nini, I'm back from eating. Hey boo, oh, you had tacos. Respect because that shit can get expensive when you have living real lives. You already know. Speaking of, if they real supporters, will make you happy. Will make us happy as well. Period. Thank you. I like what you provide me. I'm good. That's right. You are beautiful. Thank you. What do you think of Liza breakup? Liza and her boyfriend. I really don't know. I never watched them. Ivy is so underrated. Conspiracy. Uh, hello. Hi, honey. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You are gorgeous. Thank you. Everything is about how you look, which is ridiculous. It really is. It really is about how you look. And that's unfortunate. It it really is unfortunate. But it is what it's going to be. I mean, I can't really focus on that. I think somebody mentioned, too, because I was saying how you got all these. Oh, Tussie Time. She was talking about how she got all these subscribers, but her views, Tussie Time views have dropped drastically seriously and um she was talking about how she got these subscribers but y'all don't even fucking watch my videos and her thing was unsubscribe to me this subscribe account don't even it doesn't matter i need you to watch my content and somebody said well i think when people talk about views is because they really need it for the check and i say you're entitled to feel that way i think that can go one or two ways though I think you have people who are really passionate and putting videos out and put so much work in putting videos out and being real, raw, authentic and doing what they like to do and nobody watches that, you know? But then you have people who do do this as a full-time job and when I'm not meeting the viewer standards and my views fucking drop because I'm no longer doing pranks, I'm not keeping up with the high fashion, my check drops and this was my full-time job. So I think it goes two ways and I hope that you guys can open your eyes and see that. Like... YouTube not all about a chat. You got them people who are living off of it, but what about the people who, I mean, shit, you trying to get, it's really not all about that. Here we go. What's your favorite high-end brand party makeup forever? Um, Latoya forever, for sure. So true. I think YouTube is starting to fall off. Yeah, yeah, and it makes you feel away for real because it can put you down for real. Yes, Tussie, I love her. Her rated dropping is crazy. Yes, authenticity is respected um, for real. Yes, I have been a fan for so long, and hun, you should be way bigger than you are. Thank you so much. A lot of that has a part of me, though, I'll tell you. That's why a lot of people, especially dark-skinned women, have low self-esteem because the medium tells them they're not beautiful. And then they're just not presented with opportunities. I feel like this whole... Hmm. Dark-skinned women, I feel like, are being embraced, but you have to be beautiful dark-skinned. Does that make sense? You can't be a... Hmm, how, how do I say this? And Without being offensive. I, I don't even know how to say this. I just feel like you got to be beautiful black. And I, I can't really explain what I mean by that. And hopefully someone knows what I mean. But uh, for dark-skinned girls, it's, 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 it's hard. It's a lie. I think dark-skinned girls are definitely discriminated against. But that's not the argument. I think color and sizes are also discriminated against. I think facial, facial features are discriminated against. You real life have to be fucking pretty, you know, off of the makeup with the makeup you got people myself i take my makeup off and it's like wow she got dark circles and wow her skin ain't that great it's like damn she look different that's a drastic change uh-uh that bitch ugly you know compared to somebody else who Aaliyah j who take up make her makeup off people love that you get me so you have to look it's 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 they it's made a way where you just have to be a pillar on the eye, and if you're not, then, and it's unfortunate. It really is. Here we go. I miss you doing the tea stories. They back, so I'm just going to ask, but does watching the entire ad and commenting help you get paid, or can I skip the ads? I want to make sure you're getting paid because I love you. That's how it works. When an ad pops up in your video, once it pops up and a person sees it, that's where you get paid. You're not paid from subscribers. You're not paid from comments. It's all about the ads. Now YouTube has made it that your video has to be 10 minutes or longer to put multiple ads. And I fucking hate this because you'll see some YouTubers that their videos stopped at 7 minutes and they got a whole black ass screen going for 3 minutes so that they could put multiple ads. It's fucked up. 
or you got a video you click on it 14 minutes long and it's like 30,000 ads in there like come on man like what, what is that about you know what is that for so when an ad pop up you get paid for it on the start of a video when you click it the ad is up the person got paid for it. in the middle of the video in the middle of the video you're getting paid off of that that's what it is it doesn't count subscribers comments none of that your makeup is reminding me of a mermaid what is on your list just purple boo thank you your hair is amazing thank you i think jackie on is up there as top dark skin youtubers and she has body goals along with that and then they, give me the rest of the top dark skin give me the rest but you're right jackie on and i mean she really fucking advocate for us but she ain't that dark let's be honest but you got um then you got nima night nima tang or naima tang beautiful girl but i think the reason why she popping the girl beautiful even personality wise but you see the richness of her dark skin people fucking amazed what you could do with that you get what i'm saying why are you amazed at that why are you amazed that this I, we need to how do i say this the fact that she's dark and she's able to be beautiful people like that so you can't you can't be beautiful while dark um what's that other girl and she just had a baby and she married that white boy from australia nikki is it ain't fucking nikki gorgeous girl because she's dark it's like you either gotta be dark and they gotta be amazed at how fucking black you are or you two shades lighter than me so, come on man come on um your hair is amazing you can't be a stereotype as a dark-skinned woman i don't stereotype at all not at all melanin okay hold on oh i keep fucking this up damn y'all i really keep fucking this up Ooh, tell them about my melanin shirt um i will i keep okay here we go I'm and even our black men discriminate against us, which makes me so sad. I've always grown up feeling like I don't look good because my skin isn't light enough. And black men do discriminate. I'm not saying all, but it's there. Yeah, I mean, but society has to do with so much of how we see women on TV that look a certain way and tend to compare ourselves as women. I do it sometimes myself, period. Let's keep it real and feel like women um, need to empower one another. It sounds cliche, unfortunately, and that's sad. I love this beat. Thank you, Nitra. I think there are some fresh of a uh, fetish 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 i guess of extremely dark skin though it's like they like their skin more than anything else exactly i'm glad you did need to be nikki thank you jamie and nikki right this is a subject that is so fucking real and everything because it's racism within our own race come on come on come on that's just like um what is that shit the difference in plus size community now that shit Plus size women? Oh, that's a whole nother topic. We ain't gonna even do that. Into racial relationships are on top as well as relationships in general. Nikki Persons is more of a lifestyle blogger. Yeah, I fuck with her. Hey, boo. Hi, honey. Thanks for answering that. I totally agree. It's like, okay, you're really black and you're able to be beautiful or you're not like enough to be as beautiful. That shit is irritating. Ducky, that's big sister. Yeah, if you had to pick one, LeBron James or Kobe Bryant. Um, Kobe Bryant i'm back hi don't get me started seriously um but i do feel like as a white girl i can honestly say i'm so jealous of all the shades of dark skin i think it's so gorgeous thank you girl we can go all night all night about that we really can about the plus size community i do feel like it's discrimination in the black community and it's sad how do you discriminate bitch you're black at the end of the day just because you like ebony's black you know you're black you're black just because you light skin don't mean you're any better than me. But I just think that, I don't know. I don't know why it's just been seen that light skins. And I've never been in this whole debate. I'm not, I I'm don't not, I'm not got time for it. We're not going back and forth between the light skin versus dark skin thing. We're just not. Honey, that's why every moment I get, my melanin is fucking popping. You feel me? Like these skin i eat i mean shit my elementary years i i didn't like it at all but as i got older i'm like bitch i'm popping put me next to anybody i'm pop i don't care I'm, I'm popping you know i embrace my skin color you ain't got a light in my video keep that bitch dark i want you to see all this chocolateness you know so 
that's me that's my confidence and i really wish many a lot of black women or deeper skinned women can embrace it like that too because it's just so gorgeous it really is every skin color is gorgeous but because this is underrated it's like i want you to see that you're beautiful you know you are me speaking fact, fact say it ain't. thank you boo right ebony is black she just yellow thank you light skin and dark skin been going back for years slavery time and it's still not over now it's between your community not even with white thank you pass that confidence here honey seriously that is like it has been going on for forever and it's sad it's really sad like how do you discriminate against someone <sighs> what's that girl hazel fucking e we not even about to talk about her you got but you got you got it you got to point that out because it's people that think like that you know by black girl ah fucking queen let's talk about queen let's talk about queen when queen came out with that video and was like all the black girls or the ghetto girls or the happy headed girls listen we not fucking doing that i was not here for that i, I like queen as a person but i'm gonna call you on I'm not here for that. Well, who who do you think you are to say uh, the little black girls is my? Okay, we we gonna stop. We gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. It's like living a reality of Spike Lee movie in school days. I've never seen that. Confidence. No donation button. What's a donation button? Ain't that where people can like pay on your lives? I think that's what it is, right? If so, I'm okay, honey. <laughs> um, I think that's what it is. Can't stand Queen exactly. Um. Yeah. Um, what was I about to say? We was talking about paying on things. Just like this. Let me tell you this. Me and my girlfriend got into this debate. And it was neither right nor wrong. Um, it says, that's that light skin entitlement girl come across it so damn much. Right? That made me so disgusted with Queen. Right? Um, the only thing I like about Queen is her music. Had to grab my charges getting real neat. <laughs> Queen get mad money for her lives. People drew over her. I don't know why. If you notice, Queen is on tour right now. Look at the fucking audience. Look at it. Young fucking kids. That would say something to me. If I could only reach young kids, and I'm not saying that's only who she can get, but if the mass majority of my viewers are young kids, what's going on? That's just like, that's just like, um, what's that girl name? What's that girl name? What's that fuck? Black China. You ever see her with a, a man? I mean, a grown-ass man. Fuck no. She always with young dudes. And I think that's because that's where she's at. She can relate to them. She can't relate to no man. What can I give him? And that's how I feel about Black China. She's always with young dudes. You never see Black China with a... Let me stop. <laughs> Um, who was queen? If Meghan Markle was darker, she wouldn't be royal. Megan, Megan, Megan. I'm sitting here like, hold on. Um, little kids, queen who? I'd be like, damn, I must be childish as fuck. The thing is, is I, I, I like queen. Don't get me wrong, but people just fail to to miss things. You know, it is what it is. But me and my girlfriend got into this debate and it, and it wasn't a debate it was kind of like we just had different views on it dosh you guys heard of the dosh app a lot of people influencers are promoting the dosh app a lot of people think it's a scam it's really not a fucking scam like dosh really just want to be on the market that they just giving you fucking free money bitch that's what it is so dosh is this it's an app and it's like you link your card to this app and wherever you fucking swipe your card at, it's so lit. Wherever you swipe your card, it could be at a restaurant, a gas station, it's going to give you money back. It's going to pop up on your phone and say, you got 35 cent for spending money such and such. It's lit. Don't get me wrong. My girlfriend drops her Dosh, you know, link. So what happens is they have this referral thing going on. Anybody who sign up with your link, you get $10, okay? I think they get five, you get ten, something like that. Point is, then they get a link. And then they send that link to their families and friends. And whoever signs up using their link and link their card, they're going to get $10. So it's basically, if you've got a room full of five people, send them niggas your link. Tell them, download this joint, link your card. Dosh just wants you to use the app. Link your card, you're going to get $10. You build money off that, right? I see influencers now getting hella fucking money for this. Let's talk about, um, what's that girl? Jay Nicole. 
I think her name, Jay Nicole, DC girl. Link her doll shit, the bitch making money. I mean money. B. Marie, making money off this shit. Money. Cool. Me, my girlfriend, me. Come on, man. Like, you got people to follow you. Like, drop you you got to follow and drop your link. I'm not dropping my link, sis. Let me tell you why I'm not dropping my link. Because what happens is I drop my link, right? I'm going to make fucking money just like that. I just made money. I just made, let's say I drop my link and fucking... 30 people use my link to dosh because they trust me. They want to help me doing it. I just made $300 fucking dollars. Cool. Are they going to use their same link and make that much money too? And let's say they do promote their link. Let's say only fucking two people sign up. They just made $30. Damn, me, but you just made $300. I can't do that to somebody. My girlfriend like, well, guess what? It's up to them. They need to just promote their link. But I, I, I did no. I have a huge a, a following. I could really make money off of that. But I'm not doing that to somebody. I mean, sometimes I look at these influencers and like, how the fuck y'all really posting this? Like, y'all are making so much money from these people. Oh man, I, I, I'm just that I cannot do it. And I'm not saying I'm faulting anybody at doing it, but. When you're in a position where you have a fan base and you have people that trust you and literally would do fucking anything for you and you just taking their money and that shit just stacking. Meanwhile, they ain't making nothing. I just, I can't. I can't. I. That's me, though. You know, that's my heart. That's where I come from. People can look at me. Y'all can say you're a fucking fool. Oh, well. That's, I'm not doing it. So I don't do the Dodge thing. It's very credible. But because of the position I'm in, if I was just not a YouTube channel person, Ebony sent me to look, hell yeah, I know how to send my grandma. I'm about to make $50 real quick. Sure. But because I'm in this position, I'm just not doing it. I can't. Here we go. Um, School Days is a movie of the HBCU, and it shows how we treat each other as dark. Wow, I had to look at that. I mean, you attract what you attract. Birds of a motherfucking feather flock together. <laughs> Girl, I was doing the Dodge thing today, and I saw some famous people on Instagram promote today, and I stopped and remembered what you said. I don't think that's right for people to use it that way. Damn, I gotta go to bed, but this live is too juicy. <laughs> I love Jay Nicole. I love her too. You are so genuine. I swear I love that about you. Thank you. Do you think social media is overrated? Like, is it making society worse or better? So, 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 shit, social media is dumbing down everything. It's the worst. I mean, social media is the height of a lot of things. It's the height of suicide. It's the height of mental illness. It's the height of low self-esteem. It's the height of body negativity or uh, not even body positivity it's the it's the height of fucking miseducation it's the height of not being able to read anymore articulate none of, man social media the internet itself but social media is just i don't see how it's helping the people i'm just gonna be honest social media has become has made us more fucking vain has made us more prone to believe anything we fucking read, has made us to become lazy, has made us, listen, sis, I got a lot of shit to give you. I don't know if we want to get on this topic, but it it, it, it has it has really fucked the person up. What happened to, if you just, just look around you, when you go to a restaurant, look at the table next to you, what they doing? Nobody's talking. When you in your house and you chilling with somebody, what are y'all doing? Interpersonal communication is none. None. Ask homeboy how to spell this. I type it right here. iPhone corrected for me. What the fuck? You believe what you read? It's no more, man. Look, you got to look like this person. You got to make sure you checking up on this. What's the latest tea on this? And look, it's not helping the people. It's really fucking up. And I don't know. And I, and I use social media. But guess what? My mind is open, sis. I know the detriment that it's putting on people. And I refuse to let myself get there. My girlfriend and I have a rule. Bitch, when we sit down to eat, we sit down to eat. That phone, put that shit the fuck up. 
when it's time to go to bed and we land in the bed, let's talk. Put that shit up, you know? I mean, all... <sighs> that's not... Told y'all, we can go there. Exactly, and that's why I only use a family and friends who genuinely help me. Exactly, it speaks a lot about their character. Worst girl, I don't have Facebook and Instagram, I had nothing. This is why I subscribe to you. Thank you so much. Yes, I freaking love you. Facts, I need this tonight. Shouldn't need to be more YouTubers. Thank you. It's self-control and balance. Girl, yes, yes. Can we please make this a nightly thing? Y'all plan. I feel like I'm in church. I'm about to praise dance. Oh, my God. You want something tonight? I will throw my phone in my purse so quick. Like, no, let's have a real conversation. Thank you. Most YouTubers won't ever admit this because they're scared of hurting their pockets. Listen, I, and that's the thing. Nobody is becoming to be self-sufficient anymore. It's pay me. Oh, you gonna pay me? Bitch, I'm drinking this milk, shaking this lip. You gonna pay me? Oh, this hair. Come on. I mean, it's anything for the dollars. You see, do you see how social media is doing that? That shit, people have learned that YouTube ain't where it's at. We gonna take that shit right to Instagram. Look at your influence, your favorite influencers page. That shit is fucking professional. It ain't no everyday pics, sis. It gotta be held to a standard. But guess what? It's that paycheck. Come on. We not, we not. You can fight me on this. You gonna lose. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dollars. Companies new. I can send this in. They don't give a fuck about it if you taste it or not. Just you got followers, you gotta follow them. I pay you for this bitch. Post it up there, cause I know somebody gonna trust her opinion. They gonna buy the shit. We not. Gasney. Social media is a downfall of every society as a whole. You said that. You are right now. Um, homeboy new single is out. Okay. It's literally a YouTuber. I was it's literally a YouTuber. I was so big. Oh my god, I talked to her multiple times, but I had to unsubscribe because she said she wouldn't get a job because YouTube needs to pay her checks. Mm. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what people will fall back on, you know? Let's take your social media away. Let's take that away. What's the matter with the world today? I don't know. But see, this is why I'm, I, I, I took this path. Because if I can enlighten somebody, if I can educate somebody, if I can open their fucking eyes, if I could teach you how to not to be ignorant, not to sell yourself, not to fall short, what to accept, what not to accept, how to fucking think, encourage you, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I wrote a paper in, um, in class and I talked about the um, overrepresentation, discrimination, marginalization of black people. And the question was, how the fuck do we fix it? How do we fix racism in America? And that's so hard. Oh, no. How do we fix? No, that's what it was. How do we fix the discrimination against blacks? How do we make them better? One, acknowledge that racism is still alive. Two, do something about it. Well, what the fuck do you do? What do you mean, what do you do? We need affordable housing. We need fixed up fucking neighborhoods. We need fucking, um, um what was I about to say? Jails and prisons. We need drugs off the street. We. It's a lot that you can do for the black community. But let's stop. Because guess what? We've been advocating and marching and all this shit for years, right? And we still where we at. We still got this asshole in office. We still where we at. Shit only getting worse. So you know what I proposed? I said, fuck that. Racism is a, is a learned behavior. Statistics show children as young as three years old are able to learn about racism and color. So how about we educate our children? Let's 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 fix these kids first. Let's talk about this in school. As young as elementary school. Let's fix this. You know? Let's bring, let's socialize children more and let's not associate an angry face with a black person. Let's not associate a happy face with a white person. We're gonna stop right there. We're gonna stop. We ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna go there. Ah, girl, we need more people like you, I swear. I, I appreciate it, honey. I appreciate it. The way you said his new single was out. <laughs> yes, Beauty and Brains. Girl, you got me in tears. Hey, Amen. That's my passion. I want to change the world. It's just me being able to spark the minds in which people will actually be open to. Which people be open to it, you feel me? I'm with you. I'm with you. What's that thing? I'm inspired that I inspire. It's so true. Like, the fact that I can inspire somebody... And really 
help them. That shit inspires the fuck out of me. Um, see, I collect royalty checks. I make sure I secure the bag. Go for it. Period. We as black people need to unite before we fix anything else. I agree. Millennials is money hungry to the point where you'll be belittling, belittling, belittling your belief for me. It's grind, grind, grind. Get your bag. Social media is making us believe that making thousands of dollars is super easy and quit your regular job. Some of you use the social media plus work hard from it for that platform. Agree. Let's not go there about this fool in the office. We not. True definition of a queen. You need to hold a seminar or something. I would drive. Oh, I appreciate it so much children are sponges they are open that's where it starts preach i've learned not to trust what youtubers say years ago i bought my first version here based off the word of miss shonda why that hair was plastic <laughs> i could back her up though thank you this is why i want to be a teacher because i know the impact i can have on this lives is so important let's talk about this and i and i i, I talked about this before she said that she couldn't trust the youtuber because she bought some hair that miss shonda recommended and that hair was trash. Now you don't trust the words. And you know what? You're entitled to feel that way. But I made a video about this. And I don't know which video it was. But AliExpress play, played the fuck out of us. I'm going to tell you that now. And that's the truth. AliExpress played the fuck out of us. And when I say us, I mean influencers. It is very true. AliExpress was sent us the best fucking bundles 9A, 12A gray hair, and we would love it. And when we tell you guys this is it, they're going to switch that link on their ass. Give them this link right here. This ain't the 9 gray she got. Give them this because we need to promote this hair. And now you sitting here thinking you buying the hair that I bought and your shit some shit. I'm not saying every AliExpress company did that, but guess what? Them bitches was popping. They all got together and they figured out how the fuck, how, how they could do that. They used the fuck out of us. Because I'll tell you this, I work with one AliExpress company and I had some really good hair. And I got some backlash on it because they didn't sell them the hair that they gave me. And me and this company got into it via email. What company is that? Curly hair. This was years ago on my channel. What company was that? Fuck, it was some curly hair I had. I can't really tell you. But this company played me, man. Like, you really mess with my reputation. I'm not saying Shonda was telling the truth. I don't know. But just open your mind to what, what, what was happening, what did happen at some point. And maybe that's just what happened to you. Um, I learned that with AliExpress, because I knew what was going on, um... Because I knew what was going on, I had to just do it for myself. I had to find my own favorite companies. And, of course, that means wasting your money. I get it. Um, but I just had to do it because you never really know unless you find that people. And it's hard to say because you do find people you truly trust. I'm going to tell you this. Um, what's her name? Abby. Abby posted a video. This was probably like sometime last year. And she was showing us because I work with hair so much and I, I know what hair is good. I know what it look like. I know when hair does this, it ain't good. I seen Abby post a video and she really was like promoting the fuck out this hair. And I commented and I was like, Abby, that hair is trash. Like you could see in the video, this hair is trash. Why are you promoting this? And Abby went off. This hair is not trash. I would not promote hair. I'm going to let you be. I was able to state my opinion. I'm not going to fight you. You the one got the hair in your head. So you may know that the hair is great. But from what I see, you ain't fooling me. The hair is a mess. Um, but she said she had good hair. But for me, I knew I couldn't trust Abby. Because from my eyes, I see. And that's not putting her out. This is just giving you an example of your same experience. So... I understand you find people that you do trust, and then when you follow from behind them, you get some whack-ass hair. Um, I trusted Abby. I saw her posted a video. I knew that shit was trash. You could see it, but people was all for it. But I'm not saying she did that. The hair may have been bomb. I could have just been fucked up. Here we go. I'm so mem. Okay. Um, who's your favorite companies? I like Ali Pearl. I like Lonky. I like Unite's Hair, and I like Asteria those four um that's so inspiring i'm going for childhood y'all talking and it's sad how asians are making money off us black women we're not doing our own business we are giving these people our money well
they decided how they can get their own wholesale business. Go to a company, get raw Indian, and do their whole business, you know, wig making and hair business. Abby Nicole, I don't watch her. I trust all YouTubers and social media influence. Ebony, tell me the truth and this life called reality. Yes, ma'am. It wasn't AliExpress, but it's also people don't update you about the hair months later. And that's the thing, too, because... I'm not going to sit there. This is the thing. Hair videos are played out, okay? Nobody really wants to watch hair videos anymore, okay? In our defense, I don't need to wear hair for three months to tell you how, how good it is. It's not like that anymore. I could put this wig on now, fresh out the thing. I could put it on. When I go out throughout my day-to-day, -day, I'm able to tell, hmm. It's got a little snags in it. As I'm doing it, hmm, this dude I like, it, it sheds, hmm, this freezes up. It don't take me three months to figure that out. And that's what some of the viewers was getting upset at. It's like, you just put this hair in, you saying you love it. I get it. That's why I just did that video, that wig transform video. Because so many people buy these fucking wigs, already made wigs from overseas ass companies that price it down to $100, $86, you go get it. And you mad because the influencer just showed that slate the fuck out that wig. And you think it's supposed to be the way that the influencer did. No. See, what influencers do when they get wigs like that? See, that's called quick money. I'm going to spill some tea. You get a company like that and they say, um... Hey, pick out a wig. We need you to review it. Hell yeah, I charge you $200 for that. That ain't shit. That's quick money. Because all I got to do is sit here, put this fucking wig on, pluck the front tool, put it on. Hey, this is my wig. Take that bitch off. That's it. I don't do that. Because I learned that when I did do that, off camera and I would wear that wig, or I would wash that wig, that shit was trash. What? It was this one YouTube I just watched, and this is the reason why I got this wig. She spoke so highly of this fucking wig. The one I just featured on my last channel, she spoke so highly of this wig. I was like, shit, I gotta get that. They reached out to me. I want this one, because I know such and such had this one. And y'all see the time I had with that wig. That's because sis didn't put all that effort into it. She collected how much money she needed to do that one video. I'm going to take it straight out the box. I'm going to put it on. That's it. I'm going to sell that bitch later. Girl, I took that wig out of that box. I'm going to fucking wash it. I'm going to flat iron it. I'm going to see what the ends look like. But you don't have people like me to do that. Those are That's quick money right there. That's not where you get three bundles and they're asking for three. I'm going to tell you now, if a company come to me and ask me for three videos for hair, I'm not giving you that. One, because it's played out. Two, nobody's, nobody's watching hair reviews. Three, I don't need three videos to tell you if this hair is lit or not. I'll show you how I make the wig. And I wear the hair. I wear my wigs. I come back and tell you, sis, this is what this hair does. And in the midst of me styling it, I did come across some ends that look like this. It did not hold a curl for me. It's definitely shedding on me. I get some tangles in that. You you feel me? So I get you, but in our defense, I, I don't need that long of a time to tell you if hair is good or not. I just don't need it. And sometimes, but people don't put in as much effort as I do or the next person do, though. So, uh, what was that one girl? She was fucking reviewing companies every day on her channel. It take the fuck out of me. Every day. Yeah, this hair is good. This hair is not every day. Girl, you don't get your ass out of here. Where we at? Um, I'm sorry. Did you say Ivy or Abby? I said Ivy. Ivy, why I'm sorry. Um, don't take this the wrong way, but do dark-skinned people not like their hair? Because I think it's super cool. I'm not taking it the wrong way. We love our hair. We love our curls. Um, but we also like having an option to switch that shit up. Sometimes dealing with our hair is a lot. I mean, shit. I, we got a lot of products. Sometimes we don't want to have to deal with our hair. We want to put our hair up and we want to look good. Sometimes my hair not been, man, my hair ain't as long as this is. And I damn sure can't put a curl on to this curly shit. So you know what? I'm going to get my weaves. And I'm going to slay. And when I take this wig off, I'm going to get my curls popping. So, I don't think it's that. It's just, we like the versatility of it. There's a lot of um, white women, Asian women, who want what our hair can do. And or want to style their hair like ours. I have a couple Caucasian friends that be like, can you want to curl my hair? Sure. That shit falls just like that. You know? Your texture's different. Your hair's not 
what I have, or your hair's not gonna curl up. It's it's just different. It's not that we hate our hair. We like the versatility of our hair. That's it. We like to have options. That's all it is. We hate our hair. Uh, y'all playing. Where we are? Seriously, you just have to go out and look for them. Yes, I swear I need to get a wig made, but I got a big head and I'm not quite sure how to exactly measure it. But I'm dead ass though. Slide in my DMs. People switch their hair faster than their undies nowadays. I know I fuck do. Well, no, I keep my same wigs that I love though. Uh, where we go? And I tell people you get what you pay for. Yeah. Well, actually, no, because what's that company? Her hair company. That's an expensive ass hair company, and that's why I'm so hard on them. You're an expensive ass hair company. I I expect some expensive ass hair. I think what happened with her hair company is one, it seems like they're under new management, but two, her hair company used to sell some bomb ass hair. Take it from me. I used to purchase my own money from them. They used to sell some bomb ass hair. I think once they got big and got their name out there, they down they changed their grade. Shit, we got a nice following now. We ain't got to pay out all this money to get this luxury hair. We can go down a grade or two. People still going to buy it. We got a good reputation. Well, I'm going to call it like I see it. Your hair is damn sure not the same. And I know you downgraded. I know you did. No, her hair company. Um, I know you downgraded. That damn Eurasian hair I had was a fucking mess. I had to fix it. That shit was, and that was my second time trying to fix it. Come on, man. The second time I fixed it, still had its issues better than the first, but you can't market hair at that price and it don't meet that price. So, it depends. Because sometimes you can pay a lot of money and still get some fucked up shit. Right? Keep it real. I can solve crime. <laughs> like, this bring child discipline back old fashioned school. <laughs> she said, whooping, huh? Abby did got me one day when she used Alonzo Arnold's picture as a thumbnail and that dude job. She did look nothing like Alonzo's. I don't know. I don't watch her. That die job. Right front though. <laughs> That's annoying. I hope you go live every week. Love this. Thank you. Yes, I change my hair every three weeks, period. Because I want to. Yes. Knee spilling the tea tonight. Have you tried Nadula hair? I see a lot of YouTubers going on about it. No, I don't do Nadula hair. Mm -mm. I think Nadula hair put a bad taste in my mouth. The whole Abby and Queen shit. Like, I, I don't know. And then I noticed that these hair companies are putting people in contracts, too. Like, it's like, we'll pay you, but you only got to advertise our hair. And you got to speak highly of it. People taking it. And I see they're using, they doing that to a lot of fresh YouTubers, too. Girl, can't pay me. No, fuck no. <laughs> I, listen, honey, I can only be real with you, okay? It ain't shit to hide from me. That's why I tell people when people respond back to me, um, that's that's serious face. I definitely won't be trying it. What happened to the time where YouTubers were authentic? I don't know. Girl, money talked. Money talked and they I don't know. How do you feel about friends that try to switch up on you? Be patient or move the hell on? I don't have no patience for that. I'm 24, bitch. If you can't act grown and you playing that little high school shit, you got to go. You just got, I don't got time for it. I really don't. I protect my feelings too. I'm not going to allow friends to hurt my feelings. I'm a diehard ass fan, but you want me as your friend. You really do. So if we friends and I'm and I'm I'm going hard for you and I'm a true friend of yours, give me that back. And if I I'm if I'm not if if I'm not getting that back from you, it's nothing we can really do, you know? Um I love how real you are. Thank you. How you feel about companies that treat companies that treat smaller or new YouTubers? They get no on their ass. All hair is not good hair. Yes. What's the best company to buy curly hair from? Not too expensive. I don't know. Um, I just know the companies I like. Ali Pearl, Unice Hair, um, Asteria Hair, and what was the other one? Uh, Lonky. Lonky has some good hair. They just had some good straight hair. I bought a five hundred dollar hair wig and when I washed it knotted up so bad that I just threw it away. You you crazy. I can't like all the time. Damn, I'm the same way. Swear the whole sentence about friendship is me. Um, you got that fucking go. All money is not good money. I agree. I agree. I'm with you on that. Y'all yeah, still eating these fucking strawberries. Five hundred dollars. I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing shit at all. But um, money is the root of all evil, especially if you went if you were some type of influencer, sis. It can definitely fuck you up. What about Melanin Doll and Wild African? I never had Melanin Doll, Wild African. I could have sworn I had a wig from them, but I don't think so. I don't know. I can't really remember. 
Um, I can't really remember. I don't really know. But as you see, I really don't even take on hair reviews like that. I'm cool. I get so many emails from people, companies, companies. Just try to get out there. We love your channel. So girl, listen, you can have that. I'm good. Because I don't really like investing my time into it. People don't trust the reviews anymore. People are not interested anymore. Why? I don't need to make that $200. Bitch, I can sell a wig and do that. You know, that's of great hair. And keep that coming. But no. Where we at? Um, how are you feeling with the new diet or meal plan? You're glowing. Thank you. I'm feeling good. Um, my diet is it's going okay. It's it's really going. I've gone, I lost ten pounds in five days. So I'm good. Yes. Well, I can. I want to try them since they claim black girl funny. The problem with people these days is that they yearn for a yes man, but expect an honest opinion that they can't handle. I need to know how you did this. I look next week, boo. I just got some body wave hair from Ali Pearl, and once I washed it, that shit never waved back. Well, that's because I think you missed the wave. That body wave hair is not body wave hair. Um, I don't know why the fuck they even advertise that. That's why I never get body wave hair, because when you wash it, it's gone. It's just processed to look like that. It's 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 not that. Um, don't psych yourself. Stop going to companies and getting body wave. It's never going to work. Get straight hair. Seriously. And we learned that years ago. Uh, okay, D, my best friend, had the hair. She loves it along with my cousin. Hey, which one? Um, do you think a small YouTuber should do videos or with the things for free? And if not, how do you know how much you should charge the company? Honestly, if you are a small YouTuber, then no, you shouldn't charge. Um, it depends on your view count, to be honest. If you're getting like 35 views, 100 views, even 500 views, it's kind of hard to say that you should know. If you're getting about 500 views, I think the lo the lowest you should charge is like $50. And this is so hard for me to really tell you what you should charge because it's really up to you. Sometimes people feel like they're worth more than that. Um, I don't know. I know. Hmm. How do I say this? I'll be honest. Personally, when I do hair reviews, I only charge two hundred dollars. Somebody looking at me like two hundred dollars for a hair review? Need like, come on now, like really? Nobody views that. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. When you look at my hair reviews, nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's no point. And I, that's why I don't even take the two hundred dollars no more. I don't. So I can't really tell you how much you should charge. But if you're new. And you don't even have the viewers like that. No, you shouldn't be charging. But I can't tell you at what point you should start. Mm. What companies that ask you to be a brand ambassador, but you have to buy a product? Yeah, that's dumb. But I've never had a company like that. Is that is, is that a specific diet you're on? Making your own meal plan ideas? Um, So this diet, I have cut out all types of meat so i'm just eating vegetarian and or seafood um not vegetarian but i'm, I'm yeah veggie um or seafood that's the diet I'm, i've done this diet before the pescatarian diet and i lost so much fucking weight this is back in college and i lost the weight fast too so that's what i'm on now um i was in a meal prepping thing in the beginning of the year and it worked so well meal prepping is so lit um, but I just got out of the cooking thing. I got cook for Ebony and I. That's too, that's so much. And be trying to make breakfast and dinner and all. Because we only picked two meals to make. Because, bitch, we ain't eating like that. But point is, milk prepping just became a lot. So now I'm just able to, with this particular diet, I, I don't take in no more than 700 calories. And that's just for this first 30 days. That's because I'm on a weight loss pill and I want to drop this weight fast. So I don't take in no more than that. Like yesterday, I only took in like three nah it's probably like 435 calories that's like that's nothing my body i have literally put my body in starvation mode and that is okay for me like for me that is okay for me to do that i have the mental strength to do that and i'm okay to do that um generally i just have one meal and that's either a veggie burger um that's either eggs and like my little soy patties for breakfast um that's either salmon and a, a a vegetable or something it depends on when i decide to eat that one meal and the rest of the day i got fruit and water and it's hard for everybody to do that but i'm only doing this for 30 days he 
we go. I feel like if people would stop trying to make money with fake reviews, people would actually buy their products. Everything is not about the money. That way it's gone, though. Like, it's unfortunate. Can't wait to buy a wig from you. Love your channel. Sis, get my wig. Get my wig, sis. You're going to love it. Everybody loves my wig. The only issue that people have with my wigs is my wig, I put a band in it. Y'all see my face is fat, but my head is actually small. So when I measure my band, I measure it from my head. Everybody's head is not small like mine. The wig fits, but when you put that band on, it's tight as a bitch, so it makes your wig go back. So I've had three customers say, my band is a bit tight, my wig won't stay on. So I had to fix that. Remember, put on about two more inches of that, your head is small, you know? And then on the band, it's fit comfortably. So that's the only issue. But the hair, you ain't gonna never have an issue with my hair. Um, you shut that body wave down with the quickness. You know I did. They both had wild African. Okay, glad you said that about body wave. I was clueless. I feel you, sis. I did my research on phenomene, and it was a lot of bad stuff. And there's one that has meth in it, and a YouTuber was talking about that too, and she almost died from it. Um, was that Iris? Now I just seen that she posted a video, and she said that my addiction or something. I didn't watch the full video, so I don't know what she's talking about. Phenomene. I loved phenomene. I had no appetite on phenamine, and I had so much energy. The only downside to phenamine is it did cause insomnia for me. Some nights I was damn straight, like, up. Um, it did cause headaches. That's because because I had no appetite. I wasn't taking in no food. That shit, you know, I had headaches. The third thing is phenamine is only a, is an appetite. These weight loss pills are only appetite suppressants that play on your brain. That means while you're on the medication, it it is a chemical reaction or effect on your brain. That's the only side effects I had with phenamine. I really like phenamine, but after that, you do get hungry and it's easy to pick the weight back up. I'm not sure about this one. I really don't know. Um, Say something in Spanish. I'm not Spanish. Um, I feel like you the only one who being real. Honey, I'm going to always be real, okay? Um, you could still eat at restaurants like Subway. I could. Even when I go out to restaurants, I could eat, like, fish and stuff like that there. Bitch, I could come my own food, though. Black bean burgers slap. Yeah, I got those by Morningstar. I just had one of those today. Was that my meal today? That was my meal today. Yep. Um, my head big as fuck. Um, sorry, y'all messing up. Yay, still live. I had stuff to get done. I'm here, honey. Where can we buy your wigs? Um, I po I'm posting new wigs next week. So probably by Sunday or Monday, I'm posting new wigs. But if you want a wig and you have a custom, like let's say you wanted your hairstyle like this, then you put your order in and I'll buy your hair and I'll style your hair and I'll send your wig to you. Um, Facebook, at Nini Tane. I tried the Hair Infinity Shampoo, gave me headaches, which I read later. It was a small side effect. I've never tried Hair Infinity Shampoo, but I really did enjoy Hair Infinity when I was on it. I did not repurchase Hair Infinity because I have, not B12, but Biotin pills that I had already take. I had already bought and I was trying to take them, but I got Hair Infinity first, so I took Hair Infinity. So, I did like it, but I don't know about this shampoo. And what's your ethnicity, bitch? I'm, um... Um, 50% African, 50% American. Yes, it was Iris. Um, I watched the whole video. She didn't know that it was that bad. That's so scary. I, it is on my watch later. I seen it earlier and I clicked it and I was in the middle of like blow drying my hair so I couldn't listen to it. She said it had meth in it. If you're getting properly, that's not possible. Yeah, so I did read the comments, so I seen something on Instagram that she said it had meth in it, and her doctors was giving that to her. I don't know. Her doctor said it had meth in it, and I looked into it. That's why some doctors don't prescribe those pills. Um, I don't know. I will have to see. Oh, why the fuck is you a moderator? I cannot. Me clicking on shit. I really like... Okay, here we go. On Facebook, yes, at Nini Tanae. Do you like ASMR? No, I don't. America is great because America is good. Okay. What are your thoughts on the Morningstar products? I was thinking about trying them. I really like the Morningstar. The little um, breakfast patties, I think those are good. The hot dogs are nasty. The bacon is nasty. I like the crumbles, so if you want to make like a spaghetti, I like that. 
I like the burgers. So the black bean burgers are good. The regular veggie burgers are good. I like the chick patties. Those are good. Like, I really like those. Um, Boca, I don't like Boca. <laughs> um, Boca is a good brand for veggie burgers and the chicken patties, too. Dead. But I love the hair, skin, and nail gummies. I like those, too, but those would cause me to get whiteheads. I wasn't sure what that was about. Did your face break out with the hair and put any fills? I did a whole video on that. It did not do that. I tried it, and my face broke out so bad. And I think that's because there is a high level of biotin in it. Let me see. I don't have the Hair Infinity package anymore. I used to keep the bottle in here. But Hair Infinity explained when they started getting so many complaints about people's face breaking out. They um they said that it was because it's a high count of biotin in it. Sometimes people are sensitive to biotin, which is true. Um, Phenomene has... Okay, and, and, and that word in it, which has a same property as meth, but they're not related in any type of way. Ever tried Glam Glow? I tried Glam Glow a long time ago, three or four years ago. I didn't see the hype about Glam Glow. And I tried to give it a, a, a try because I had scars and stuff. And um, who told me try it? What's that girl name? Time to Infamous. Long, I mean, years ago. I never repurchased it. I tried the charcoal mask and I tried the regular face wash and it just wouldn't work. I didn't like it. Also, with biotin, you have to drink a lot of water or to cause breakouts. Probably so. I take biotin. I was taking it every day. I've kind of slow. I haven't taken it in like the last three or four days. What is your favorite face mask? I don't do face masks. My skin is sensitive. And I feel like face masks just, I don't know. Every time I do a face mask, my shit, I got a nice ass pimple ring. I ain't fucking with that. So I don't even do it. As far as my face, though, I wash my face with Noxzema. And then from that, I go tone it. I use Sea Breeze to tone. I like the yellow Sea Breeze. Um, but right now, I'm using a blue one. And then I use this, um, what is this, Palmer's Fade Cream to fade my dark marks. And then I use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Oil to put on my face. But y'all see that in the video. <laughs> Um, you got me buying Queen Helen Cocoa Butter Cream and Lotion. No, what you need is the yellow Cocoa Butter Stick. If you got dark marks or whatever, that's how Ebony's skin... When I first met Ebony, her skin wasn't the best. Um, and skin is everything to me. So, I had to get her hit with the right skin products. Her skin is, like, amazing. That Cocoa Butter, the yellow stick, just use that shit every day. You're not gonna see nothing in a week, but just, just make it a part of your regimen. You're gonna see how beneficial it is to your skin. It does help lighten up dark spots dark spots i've been wanting to try it but it's too expensive if it doesn't work can you return it i've always wanted to use hand fitting but some people were saying it thins your hair out. i didn't have none of that in fact it thickened my hair but the thing is is everybody's different when you're talking about pills and products people don't realize that everybody is different meaning your body is different some things that Hair Infinity was fine for me. It didn't give me no issues. I felt like it thickened my hair. Um, I don't. I feel like it helped my skin. I don't feel like it did any of the bad things. And and that's me. Like, I was kind of skeptical. So I'm like, so many people are so against Hair Infinity. And I'm like, but what are you? You know, you were just gonna take their words and go try it. I tried it, so I can come and tell you. But hey, it worked for me. But you know, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's different. Um, drink a lot of water. Period. I do. Do you know a good face wash for dry, sensitive skin? I don't know because I don't have dry skin. I have like regular normal skin. Ebony uses Clean and Clear. That she said that works for her. What eyeshadow did you use today? It's just a um, Morphe palette. Would you ever do a chemical pill? No, I'm not fucking with my face like that. I'm just not. I'm not fucking with my face like that. No. I'm just not. I watch some of these chemical pill videos and people love it and people end up having good results i'm just not doing it no not this canvas hell no good i can't wait to see a skincare review water clear all that shit up what is literally lit? i use palmer cocoa butter body wash it helps my dry skin in the winter and diet of course because what you put in your body reflects the outside that is true too and a lot of people i encourage y'all if y'all drink so many sodas i know this one lady who has to have a soda every day my grandma when she eats she has to have a fucking pepsi it's like do y'all realize what's in these goddamn sodas? Like, it's so much sugar. Like, I can't do that. Girl, I don't drink sodas. That shit got to go. If it's in my liquor, sure. But I don't have liquor all too often. But just to get a soda, keep soda in my house, girl, you better get that shit out of here. 
Um, hey, do you recommend biotin? Yeah, I take biotin. Oh my god, I seen one YouTube do a homemade kickle pill. She literally burned her face. Thank you. Don't put anything on my face, but people always ask how my skin is baby soft. Girl, how do you feel about Jeffree Star? Would you or do you use his products? Hold on. I don't drink either tea or ice water. I just learned that green tea causes headaches for me. I don't fuck with green tea no more. Clear, and I just says genetics. What do you think about getting your eyebrows tattooed? I want to do it, but I'm scared somebody might mess them up. Honey, I don't fuck with shit on my face. I just can't. That shit sound painful as fuck. So how do I feel about Jeffree Star? Hmm. You know, at one point, I tried to give Jeffree Star a chance. I really did. And when I gave him a chance, I actually started to kind of like like him. Like I, I liked at one point watching him because it seemed like he was being real, and I, I liked his application. But then when I learned about him, and I'm not here for Jeffree Star. I'm just not. Not only that, I don't use his products. I just don't think that Jeffree Star is. I mean, for one, this nigga got six 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 tats, six 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 tatted on him, and he think it's great the fuck i mean if somebody embraces that we ain't friends like he embraces that tattoo on him I, I don't fuck with that so i don't like him i don't watch him um i don't think he's a genuine person at all i really just don't i don't think he's here for the black community let me tell you this the fucking crayon case y'all know that the crayon palette that nigga reviewed that damn palette and you know what he says? Yeah, I found it online from some company. Where you find it from? But super. And she black. Listen, we not going there. We not. Jeffrey's so gonna go straight to hell for all I care. We can throw Jeffrey away. I hardly watch Jeffrey. Thank you. I agree. I agree. No new friends. Him and his little puppy, James Charles. He's always rubbed me the wrong way. I don't look at James Charles neither. I couldn't really get into him. But Jeffrey, I damn sure don't get into um but i listen to the drama on them i do girl called it an indie company please go in did y'all see super sent did her thing super fucking did her thing but that, that shit pissed me off though you know you know you fucking got that company you gonna say i don't know where the company or who's the owner fuck you and that's that's literally when i look drop my straw right we ain't going in i noticed that too he didn't mention that super was the creative company give that girl her credit I ain't fighting. I ain't fighting. Baby, what you doing? What? What you doing? Um, doing your shirt? No, I'm done. Everything. Oh. Oh, you want to come show me your shirt? Super gives me life. Come show my. You want to show your shirt? I don't want to talk. I'm joking. Look, come look at my baby shirt. I told y'all she got a t-shirt company, right? Step back. What? Um, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you lit. That's a cute ass shirt, honey. Okay, I had to show my DC shirt too. Bye -bye. You didn't show the melanin shirt. Oh, I didn't. Let me see. Oh, I, I didn't. Yeah. I forgot. Oh, I, really I forgot. did. I really did. I really forgot. I really forgot. But I thought it was on black. You don't have it on black made right now. No, I don't have my personal black, but I've made black for melanin shirt. You ain't got no melanin. Bitch, you black. That's at the end of the day. Point is, she made this melanin shirt, and that shit is like so fucking lit. Let me show you. Ooh, came through dripping. It's kind of hard to really see that, y'all, because my light here. Damn, you can't really see it. Point is, this shirt is lit. This melanin shirt. Um, And I said, you know you got to make one for the queen, right? <laughs> you know I got to have that fucking shirt. <laughs> so she's making one for me. Um, Because that shirt is lit. That shirt is a nice-ass shirt. Here we go. Here we go. Super gives me life. Um, Where do you get your inspiration song from with your makeup looks i've been a funk trying to get creative with my looks i don't i mean shit if i see something just scrolling through i'll be like oh let me try that just like with this one i see miss creative diva post it and i challenge myself um but honestly when it comes to feeling bitch i sit myself down i start with the first brown color because i gotta have brown and then i go from there <laughs> have you tried the crayon case i have not and y'all Crayola is coming out. It's a makeup line now. Copy it off of Super. That's fucked up. Ebony, I love your shirts. Yes. What did it say? I swear, Ed moves. Oh, it said bless. I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn, Ed not fucking with us. Because I'm on my channel. She likes to give me my space. Super, Tokyo, and 
the real bb judy gave me so much life exactly and the bullshit apology video he did boy bye bye hey boo that shirt love that shirt jeffy do these collabs and months later there's drama manny manny laura nikki nikita all falling out with him and she really slammed makeup shayla after and he really slammed makeup shayla after she reviewed him lol that shirt is a nice ass shirt i love it probably cute as fucking black it is in black and it's gorgeous too but um yeah he just um i peeped his game i've been peeped this game but i noticed what the fuck he's doing when what's that girl name what is that girl y'all what is that girl she came out with them pills, meaningful, not meaningful, but she came out with the pills and everybody wasn't for them pills. Somebody dropped her name and she was a makeup channel. It was like, for your first product, why did you come out with pills? What's her name, y'all? Somebody tell me. Uh, Tati, thank you, Tati. When he be, when he became friends or tried to be friends with Tati and gifted her that goddamn bag, bitch, I said, oh, this bitch is sick. Because everybody, he was gifting bags, but we not doing that. And then it's kind of like, he makes you feel like you kind of owe him something because he gives you something that you don't even that you have not bought or maybe you can't afford or you just don't buy. Mm, that's sign number one. Something wrong. That, that something something ain't right. <laughs> um, you're gorgeous, Mama. Can you do a summer try on haul soon? Probably not summer. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think he did a video with Trisha Paytas. I don't really fuck with her, but you know what? I look at Trisha's videos because. That girl need help. Like, Trisha really needs help. And she knows she needs help. But as Trisha has admitted to everybody, this shit is fake that I do. I do all of this for entertainment, but she's definitely suffering. And we can all see the type of guy she like, but we ain't gonna go down, Trisha. Um, um, Tati, Tati, yep, y'all told me. Okay, yes, come back from the try on haul. How do you feel about fashion over jeans? I've seen your hauls with their clothes. I purchased their jeans and they never fit. Wow, I like fashion over jeans. I actually had just purchased, but no, I think it's my ass just got fat. But I had purchased some fashion over jeans back in March, early March, and I thought I was the size, I think those are 18. What up, bitches? Girl, I just wore them the other day and I had to keep pulling them bitches up. I do have fashion over jeans. Oh, I have a fashion over jeans right now, sis. Let me show you. The only thing I don't like about fashion over jeans is that they're high waist. And it's like, as a heavier girl, what makes you think I want fucking high waist pants? Like, I have a belly. What makes you think I want my belly showcase? Let me show you. So these are fashion over here. Can y'all see? And they go all, I mean, shit. They go up here. They're high waist pants, but they're comfortable. And I think these are like an 18. Oh, no. These might be a 20. I don't know. I can't really remember. Point is, I just don't like that fashion over feels like they have to make high waist pants. Like, why can't I just get some regular ass pants? Why do they have to be high waist? And then, you know, when I put shit on, my goddamn belly is everywhere. So, I don't like that about them. But fashion over is a lit ass company. Like, they really are. Um, and I feel like their clothes are true to size. Sometimes, shit, I... When I order from Fashion Nova, I always get a 3X. <laughs> but... I've ordered a dress from a 3X and that shit was huge. So, it's kind of like hit or miss. But I like Fashion Nova. Um, here we go. Oh, sorry, y'all. Let me go back. Let me go back. <sighs> okay. And they too big. Then he tried to drag Tarte for not having deeper shades and a new foundation. They came out where I was rolling. Boy, give me the fuck. Um, where can I purchase Abe's shirts from? So, she has an email. LitCustomTees at gmail.com. She has a Facebook, Lit Custom Tees. Um, she has an Instagram, Lit Custom Tees. I hate summer. That's the issue, too, being a, a bigger girl. I hate summer, too, because it's hard for me to get comfortable. Um, wintertime, I could be cute as shit. My little leather jacket, my tall high waist boots, shit. Summertime, it's like, being a heavier girl, I wear shorts. They fucking too. They may be too high. My thighs rubbing together. I got to make sure before I leave, I put Vaseline in. I travel Vaseline. Um, I don't like my arms. I got to be careful of the damn dummy. I can't be in cardigans all summer. So that's just, I, I hate summertime too. That's because dressing for my body type is the hardest to be comfortable in. But I've gained so much confidence and I've just known, like, girl, I go to Rainbow. Rainbow has hooked me the fuck up during the summer, sis. I got my nice little dresses in there. I got my nice little shirts, girl. So, I mean, it's just hard to be comfortable. All right, let's see where y'all at. 
Um, I love, oh wait, I don't know how people watch Trisha, her voice, her demeanor, everything. I know. Sometimes she gets on my nerves, but sometimes I click it just to see what the fuck she's talking about. But I'm not subscribed to her. I love Fashion Nova. Yeah, she looks so pretty. Thank you. It's chilly in Detroit right now. It's actually chilly down like outside. Um, I love Fashion Nova. <laughs> looks bomb, but thirty dollars for jeans. I can understand that, but it's kind of like, where can you find them cheaper? I mean, Charlotte Ruth has some nice jeans and they fit pretty well too. Sometimes you can catch them on sale, but jeans are so yes. Since he tried Dragon Tar. Um, will be all exclusive when he comes out with his concealer. Who the fuck knows? We gonna see that booty though. Hey, I have so many of the jeans. Yes, boo. Represent us DC all day. You already know. I always use codes. I never pay full price. Always 30. Yeah, I do too. What other company jeans do you love? Recommend for a plus size girl? Like I said, Charlotte Russe is where all my other jeans come from. I really go to Charlotte Russe for my jeans. If I don't, I have some in there from Fashion Nova. I have some that was sent from me, like Monotoniques. Um... But I um, I wouldn't really recommend them because I think their sizing is only for a certain curve of woman. But um, Charlotte Russe I like. Um, girl, this is a marathon view and I like it. <laughs> I gotta be to work soon. But I really enjoyed this live need. Please do another one. Thank you, honey. I really appreciate you stopping in. Right, I'll be feeling myself in the winter. Old Navy jeans fit. Oh, I forgot. Old Navy jeans are good too. I forgot. Old Navy jeans is I'm good. They are good. They're pretty good. But I haven't bought for them neither because Old Navy jeans can be expensive. I mean, unless they run in a good sale. But And then I hate the fact that Old Navy has so many categories. And because they have so many categories, it's like, well, which one do I fucking like? Like, as a bigger girl, why do I have to keep being in fucking skinny jeans? I don't want to have to wear skinny jeans. Why don't you have, like, some nice pair jeans why don't you have i don't know girl but skinny jeans is just like i guess and yes and old navy got that super cash they do have that but i haven't shot from them in a minute oh school leave eyes right i agree um have y'all tried ellery's color pop line it's lit bitch try famous jeans this right here is ellery sis her color pop line is lit skinny jeans are overrated this right here is called Stilo, my favorite. Girl, that's why I signed up to their email because they'll have 50% off their jeans every once in a while. Yep. For me, it's Fashion Nova or Leggings 24-7. You play too much. Hey, Nene, you look cuddly. You, thank you. Oh, my God, me too. I'm really enjoying this live and how you're interacting with us. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it, sis. <laughs> and I should go live on my main channel more often. Seriously, y'all. But I'm 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 trying I'm trying I'm I'm planning a meet and greet for my um I'm planning a meet and greet for my my, my channel that my girlfriend and I share together and I should have planned one for my main channel but because this is a higher following here I really don't know how to go about planning that like I don't I don't know what to do I don't know who to talk to I don't know like how to get do I need to get a a, a not a pass but permission to hold it here where do i go it's so much like i don't know who how many numbers to anticipate like i really don't it's, it's a lot mm, what do you think okay wait what do you think about youtube policies that keep changing and it's gonna keep changing it's gonna keep making it hard i can't even tell you what this policy included i know a lot of people was upset many included because i think this policy affected him and affected new channels so i really don't know but i feel like they're gonna keep changing it um, do a tutorial on the ombre lips. Since I need to do, like, more lip combos, because that's, I love some lip combos. Teeny Tiny from ColourPop is an amazing shade. Oh, my God. I think I have that, too, girl. I got ColourPop everything. Yes, I love boot cut jeans. They always come in an ugly wash color with no spice. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please go live more. Thank you. I bought Old Navy jeans two years ago. Now they don't fit. I've been the same size for two years now. Jesus, your lip combos are always bomb. Thank you, sissy. Sissy. Thank you, boo. I better say sis. Um, you're still located in Baltimore, right? Never been located in Baltimore, honey. DM motherfucking V. <laughs> um, you should make some videos on the topics we discussed during the streams. Oh, I guess like you been to flavor in Baltimore? No. I guess like what we talked about today, racism, black, you know, been at oh yes, many. My sis live out there. I was there for about a month. They whack as fuck. <laughs> Um, girl, I never put this damn honey shit up. Let me put that up first. Y'all tell me what time it is. Somebody tell me. Because I'm no, no, don't tell me. I'm about to look right here. Um, where we at? 
The jeans are falling off to the point where a belt is required. Oh, so you're saying they're too big. How's the rep for Morgan State? Not sure. Don't know too much. I've never even been to Morgan State, to be honest. When it's not far, I've just never been. It's bitches at 1 o'clock in the morning. Y'all playing games. I didn't. It is 102. <sighs> I'm not fucking with y'all. How long have we been on this live? It's after midnight in Arkansas. Girl, if you don't get <laughs> like, it's time for this to come off. Let me really, mm, let me make sure I did everything I needed to do <laughs> with this video. I, I think I filmed a really good outro. I got it. 103, yeah, y'all playing. My bra been off. <laughs> I'm good. Girl, that's the first thing that come off. I ain't mad at you, sis. I ain't mad. Ebony, my girlfriend, can come sit in her jacket, coat, and shoes all night. First thing I do, I'm going to sit them keys down my head straight to the room. Bra coming off next week. That's how it goes over here. Mm. <laughs> Where would you hold your meet and greet? I don't know. For this channel, I'm not really sure. Because I don't know the numbers to anticipate. I don't know. For my second channel, we're doing a paint and sip for a meet and greet. Um, so that's that's lit. But I don't know if I could do that with this channel. Ugh, my eyelash, like, what is that? Um, what she said. I have a dark neck and I want to ask you how do you match the foundation to your skin? I love this. I've said this ever since I started YouTube. I never bring my hair. I just never do. You know how fucking messy that is? Like, look at this white ass shirt. I down there, all my clothes would be ruined. I never do that. I just learned over the years that my neck is just dark. I just had pigmentation there. A lot of people used to say, oh, you might have insulin resistance. You might have diabetes. It ain't that, sis. Like, I've been tested for all that even recently. Like, I take care of my body. But it's just been dark. Um, I just make sure I match my foundation. When I take my photos, everything looks good. If you want to bring your makeup down here, go for it. It's just a personal choice that I don't do. Also... Hmm. What's what I say? When I match my foundation, a lot of people like to go here. I don't. When I match my foundation, I don't go here. If I'm matching it for somebody else, I go straight to their face, or I go straight to like their neck area to see how I can kind of like blend that in. But it's hard when you have this around your neck and you're darker because you really gotta try to find the right foundation. And so, and that don't mean you need the the darkest foundation because. In some areas of my face, I'm light at. And then I start to get darker around here. So, I don't know. I, it's, it's easy for me because I don't, I don't, I don't. Girl, imagine me bringing shit down here. I'm just not doing that. But when I photograph, everything looks flawless. So, do you ha do a nice picnic with music like a block party? Well, that's nice. But then I have to get food for that. Then I also have to get a permit for that. Like, I don't know. 1% of the total subby number. What you mean, boo? Oh, it's 10. Okay. I got time to save my coins for the two lit crew meet and greet. Yeah, tickets not going to be too bad. Most black women have dark necks. Hello. Hi, honey. Yeah, the meet and greet for two lit crew is, um, that's going to be lit. Sip and paint. I don't know what to do for my main channel. I really don't know what to do. What do people do? I feel like for meet and greets, people like rent studios or like big places. And y'all have something on the inside. I don't really know how that goes. Mm. So that's that's been like the hardest thing on my channel. I mean, also, let alone being busy and shit. So that's why I really couldn't focus my time on meet and greets. But I put it a part of my New Year's resolution. I was going to plan a meet and greet. I'm going to get it done. When is the meet and greet going to be? Um, For... Two lit crew, I'm not sure. We're trying to do, what month are we in? June. Trying to do early July, early August. I don't know. I do, are still live. You are amazing. I've been watching for about an hour now. You are so intriguing. Oh, thank you so much. Hi. Hi, honey. Flight, hotel, liquor, art, me. <laughs> What'd she say? 1% 115K. I'll see you in the next stream, Nee. I got to be up early to study for my driving test. Good luck, my honey. Really good luck. Um, a meet and greet can be at a park or something. But like I said, I think you need a permit for that. I'll have to look into it.
I guess so. But then what would we do at the park? You know what I mean? Like, what are we going to do? We're going to stand there. We're going to be like, hey. And then y'all going to be standing there looking at me like, what's next? What do I do? I don't, <laughs> I don't know, black people. Oh, bitch, you got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you got to go. Um, yeah, y'all. So, look, this is it. I think I've been on live for forever, y'all. Play games. In the park? <laughs> He's stupid. In the park, though? I'm going to figure it out. Get ready with me. I just put one of those up. What the fuck he said? Girl, it was gone. <laughs> Adult game night. That's fun. As a as a meet and greet with, I don't know how many people will be there. A game night? That is lit. But we haven't had that at in the park, huh? We should do teams. I don't know. Really nice. I wanted, to, I wanted it to be intimate where we all could just talk, laugh. I mean, I don't. Y'all playing. Y'all gonna make me think and I can't. I, I don't know. Listen, it's time to go. I'm not playing with y'all. It's what? What time is it? My computer's trying to play with me. Girl, log in. 108, sis. <laughs> we got to get up out of here. Let me close that. Oh, my um clips uploaded. So we could probably get this makeup look out tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, next week, sorry. All right, y'all, spin the bottle with liquor. The combo is too juicy. I know it is, y'all, but it's time for me to go now. I have a girlfriend. I'm sure she is, like, missing me, honey. <laughs> so I need to get out there. I really, I truly enjoyed you guys coming into my live being with me, boo. I enjoyed the conversations. I enjoyed the compliments. I enjoyed everything. And I need to put in when I'm going to come do live again. And it'll be them but it won't be so long because i haven't done a live in forever and i love you guys back i really 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 good <laughs> i really love y'all back so expect to see me on live maybe i come live sometime next week you know come say what's up y'all see what's going on but it won't be so long because this was nice i truly enjoyed this so thank you guys for stopping in don't forget you want a wig go follow my facebook page hit me up you want a custom t-shirt, go follow Lit Custom Tees. Got to put my baby in there somehow. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Twitter, Nini Tanay. Just made that. You on Twitter? Go follow me on Twitter. Then we talk on Twitter. I can talk to people. So follow me on Twitter. All my socials, at 